or whatever your audio is coming from. <clears throat> Sorry about that, everybody. Sounds like we're good now. At this point, and there, everybody should be. So again, good morning, everyone. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> thank you for the. Uh, thank you. For, take you. Take two. Take two. So uh, yeah, a little bit. It's, it's a little early over here on the West Coast, and uh, I had a pretty long. Right, we're practicing now, so that way you get all the good audio when we actually do in the games, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, again, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm joined by my Wednesday co-host Jerry uh, to go over a little bit of what what's going to happen today. So for those who do know, and for those who don't know, today is the final four of the NPC. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty exciting day. Jerry's going to be taking one of the games. I'm going to be taking the other game. Uh, we're going to be joined yeah. by Jerry's going to be joined by who? Joe Olson will be joining me, and uh, and then later on, I think uh, Silver Glenn, Justin Branch will be joining uh, the the late final game. So that'll be a good time. We have some good streamers lined up. You and me will be taking the the streaming duties for the first half, and then uh, we'll have just the main channel for mm -hmm. the uh, the second half. So if you want my game, go to my channel, and if you want the uh, main game, it'll be on the uh, the PC channel. So yes. I have a multi Twitch that I sent yes. to the Slack chat. Yeah. Also, so. so yeah, and. Uh... Yeah, so Jerry's going to be covering the Matt Wadden and yes. uh, Jared Consker game on his channel, uh, Case of Sauce 37. I'm going to be taking the Kyle Kruger Hayes Hunter game over on the main PC account, as you're clearly watching it right now. Uh, right. And then afterwards, we're going to be streaming the finals of uh, whoever is going to be making it. Uh, I'm going to be yeah. joined by Justin Miracio and uh, Chris Goglin, a Hall of Famer Chris Goglin. Uh, there you it, go. just, it just rolls off the tongue. Uh, just and so uh, then we're going to be, like I said, as Jerry said earlier, we're going to be, I'm going to be joined by uh, what? It could be Joe Olson, Joe Olson and Olson. Justin Branch. Just you. Yeah, for the finals. So we got a lot of good streamers today. Uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting day. We're going to be having our first online MPC champion. Will it be, yeah. will it be a Matt Wadden or will it be a Kyle Kruger? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's a pretty good chance it's going to be so, a six seed. <laughs> yeah, uh, three out of our final four contestants are six seeds. Uh, I don't think that's ever happened before. Yeah, we're going to have at least one it's, six it's seed gonna in be, the final. It's going to be interesting. Guaranteed. Yeah, like I know six seed. Uh, we've had a pretty. We've had low seeds make it to the finals before, but I don't think we've ever had three six seeds in the final four. Yeah, it's definitely definitely um, was. I mean, the online NPC maybe had a little bit to do with that, with uh, mm -hmm. some inexperience on GIMP or just people, you know, some of the lower seeds playing a little bit more and having some more experience. So it was definitely it was yeah. a lot of fun last weekend. I was I wasn't able to stream on Sunday. I wasn't feeling that great, but uh, we had the six streams going all at one time. It was you know definitely yeah. groundbreaking for us. So I was super excited to be a part of that, and I, I'm glad everybody really seemed to enjoy all the coverage that we yeah it's, it's last weekend was a lot of fun uh for again just sort of a little bit of a recap uh two of the were one sees chris kelly and joe olson uh lost in the second round uh they both lost to i want to say it was uh, uh, nine seated uh it was nine seat it was wayne cullen, wayne cullen and, matt and, matt scott. and matt scott matt scott made it to the finals in the Joe Olson bracket, played Jared Consker. Yeah, yeah uh, Consker got through him, but yeah, that was... Yeah, that was and uh, Wayne, uh, I want to say, also made it to the finals as well in that bracket. So yep. both of the players made it pretty far after upsetting those yep. one seats. Uh, yeah, and then just... That, my bracket was looking real good through the first like <laughs> round or two, and then it just started yeah, sinking, all yeah. those upsets. So there, was, was a lot was of, there was a lot of upsets. Uh Justin Desai made it to the finals of his bracket, played against Matt Wadden. So, uh, and then again, uh, Hayes was able to progress throughout his through his bracket at the very end there. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of good decks that we saw. A lot of uh, different uh, decks. Uh, yeah, there's Jared. Some now that that Jared's deck with the slip siding away and the yeah, matching the, uh, Vader's tie definitely caused a lot of Diplo decks some some issues. Yeah, and, the, then, and that was a good call by him. I mean, yeah. that bracket looked like it was going to be. I mean, we saw what um, a few people played like, Diplo. Yeah. 
and Hills Hulse and Brian Mischke were the ones that you thought would win that bracket because they were the yeah. one two seeds. But uh, yeah, and those... Mischke was playing a, a dip low, which was interesting. Yeah. I mean, if if I was going to put Mischke on a deck, I would put him in on main, on a mains platform. But he brought out Diplo. Joel Olsen played Profit. Profit seemed like it was going to be uh, a little interesting. I mean, we saw a yeah, lot of Profit. profit. We saw a lot popular. of Profit. I know the Pittsburgh guys played a lot of that uh, Profit that played the Spaceport. Uh, <clears throat> Spaceport speeders, speeders. and yeah. were so they were selling a lot of like they they played that with the new R two so that was yeah. interesting. Uh, Profit Profit's so good with uh, its court matchup right mm-hmm. now, and court yeah. being one of those top dark side really, decks. Definitely, I don't remember seeing a lot of court on at least on stream. So there was yeah, I mean, uh, it was there, but yeah, it, it was there. Yeah. And then the other deck that caught a lot of attention, especially on Gemp in the last week, was the there is. Uh, the 12 card there is good in him. Well, there from... was that one. And then there was okay. also the uh, the Dark Deal deck. That didn't yeah, run Dark the, Deal, but it's set up and, uh, and, uh, with SSA. If you start uh, a two, one of the two <coughs> one sites that limit their drain to minus one, and then you start the Poor Town District, so your drains are plus one. You put Expanded Empire on that, so you get extra drains. And then you're, dry, yeah. you're playing uh, quiet, Quietly Observing, so you get that uh, Zizor's bounty with okay. t- two of your cards. So I mean, a lot of people have seemed to be uh, catching onto that deck, especially yeah, on the last Kruger's. week. And Kyle yeah, Kruger's Kyle Kruger. Uh, actually, I want to say that was uh, Cal Aldred who came up with it and then gave it to a few people. And then Kyle Kruger came out of the uh, the Chris Kelly bracket with that deck. So yeah, definitely was some, some new stuff to mess around with. Yeah. So all the, all the deck lists have already been put up mm-hmm. on the, the forums. You can download them and, and import them yeah. right into Gamp and test them out. So yeah. definitely thanks whoever was uh, in charge of that because that was uh, that was really cool to just be able to load up whichever decks that I wanted to to mess mm-hmm. around with uh, right from the the lists there. So, um, but yeah, we're about five minutes out from starting. So I think I want to get my uh, my stuff sort of set up for getting Joe Olson on my stream and stuff. So are mm-hmm. we, uh, you're just about ready to sign so off. So I think, over? yeah, I think we're about to do that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go let Jerry get on, uh, jump over onto his account. So that way he can, uh, go stream again, the, uh, Matt Watt and Jared game. And then, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to be doing the, uh, Hayes Hunter Kyle Kruger game. So yeah, yeah so it's yeah, going to be a pretty exciting day for of uh, Star Wars CCG. So yeah. stay tuned. Uh, we'll be right back uh, with our live coverage of the uh, NPC Final Four. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> All right.
Okay, so again, good morning, Star Wars fans. It is me, Dan Tortellini. I'm joined by one Justin Mirashino this morning. And a little bit later, we're going to have uh, Hall of Famer Chris Goblin on. So it looks like uh, Hayes is ready for his game. So he's all good to go over there. Uh... Just waiting on Kyle to join. It looks like Hayes is going to play light side first. What do you think he's going to play, Justin? Uh, it's a t- I mean, it's a tough call. Um, Hayes picked pretty standard decks, I would say, mm-hmm. to be honest, uh, for the initial portion of the NPC. So seeing him go back to no idea and agents wouldn't necessarily be wouldn't necessarily be crazy. Um, I think it. I don't know. It kind of depends on how he's feeling. I think uh, I think it's pretty safe to assume that Kyle might change things up, so he mm-hmm. can't really base his deck choice based on what he saw um, yeah. after the deck list were revealed. Because um, Kyle's dark side deck was really interesting and was a really cool deck, but is also uh, a deck that <laughs> is pretty easily prepared for if you for, uh, are expecting it. Yeah, if you're um, expecting it, um, I'd say Menace Fades really hurts that deck. So yeah, it's something it's something that um, Cal Alger was talking about in the Slack chat the other night because uh, he also played that same deck mm-hmm. and I played against him in round one of the MPC. So uh, I got to see it firsthand. And uh, yeah, Menace Fades is a real problem for the uh, the Dark Deal Alien deck without playing okay. Dark Deal. Um, so it looks like uh, players are ready to go. Kyle and, Kru- and Justin just joined their game, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a very old school type of matchup. Uh, we have Kyle on Agents of the Black Sun, and we have Hayes on Throne Room. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty old school. Uh, um, okay, looks like okay Hayes is doing your normal start. Uh oh. Kyle decided to go with prepared defenses, so he's not going to get the Emperor out early. Okay, let's see. He's got Wipe, Decree, and Shadows. So hmm. so not the quietly observing start that no. we saw from a couple of the uh, a couple of the agents players in the mm-hmm. NPC. It's looking like it's a... Uh... Now, I know Brian Fred and... Uh... Matt Scott played Agents as well, and they played this as uh, same start. Uh, the Decree will save uh, Kyle from losing a lot of force to playing Sense. So and, Okay, so yeah, and it looks like uh, Hayes has brought out his Sense Canceller. Oh, and yeah, Sovagon, you are absolutely, absolutely correct. I misread the initial deck list, and Hayes was, in fact, playing Throne Room for the initial portion, not no idea so okay not bad so yeah it's smart for Hayes to uh bring out the do or do not so up oh, there he is there's our hall of famer chris goglin how are you doing sir uh doing fine uh just had a little issues discord wanted to update apparently before it would recognize my camera so mm. okay so yeah looks like we got Hayes playing throne room but justin or uh and kyle is playing agents of the black sun so yeah, no real surprise there from either deck. No, yeah. and it looks like so. Hayes, oh, Hayes missed... apparently activated all of his activated or open handed all of his docking bays. On yeah, Jones, and is... that's a early verify for Kyle, so that's not good. And so maybe I mean this could put Hayes behind the the eight ball essentially. Depends cause... a lot on how good the rest of his opening hand is because yeah, I mean, if. If both of his docking bays are activated, that also means that those three cards are unlikely to contain Oisa mm-hmm. or Speak. True, and that's a good point. If he, and he plays Rescue in the Clouds to look at the top, so he gets to look at the top three cards of his reserve deck, and he's going to be able to take one into hand. And I'm going to say, like, the possibilities of him op- um, opening handing one docking bay is is. Better yeah, than both of them being in the force pile, but yeah, yeah if there's no I mean, other activation, that, yeah, they'll certainly both know from the verify if uh, if there is activation to be mm. found in the force pile. Okay. And he pulls out 
the tight. So he's going to play five clash, five casual to get the tight end or ten of four. Most likely, it's going to be the ten of four. So that way, he has something to go down to course on with, and can threaten a drain of three. Uh, should it be two? So surprising, we haven't seen the docking bay played already before he played the interrupts. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Now uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he's got any other type of activation in his early hand. And he's just going to draw. Nope. So, yeah, nothing else. A uh, bit of a slow start for Throne Room. But, I mean, that's the problem with Throne Room is you're always liable to have one of these bad starts. They don't call it getting Throne Room for nothing. <laughs> I'm interested to see how uh, Kyle's going to respond to that because I know one thing that uh, that Decide did against my Hitco in in this tournament earlier uh, was specifically avoiding deploying the additional Coruscant sites to choke my activation, mm -hmm. uh, which yeah. potentially could be a thing. Although now that he's pulled the Boss Nest Chamber, perhaps not. I, I would still say you want to limit the amount of activation that your dark or your light side player can get. Just being that you're not getting the JCC, you've only got one docking bay out, so it's still good to limit. I think, especially when you have that guaranteed barrier. Essentially, now the thing that I find interesting is that Kyle didn't play according to my design. He didn't start that, so he doesn't have an emperor on the table already. Okay, so looks like Kyle had his Imperial Square in his hand, so he doesn't have to use a force to get that. Hayes is playing Goldenrod. I don't like the Goldenrod too much here because there's a lot of other things to that you might want to do with your shields. Uh, you might want to get like, well, I mean, he does have aim high, so I mean that does give him a little bit of flexibility, and he's probably playing the Hear Me Baby. So, what do you think? Hear me, baby, or perimeter scan will give them access to more shield yeah. pulls. So there's no no issue with that, especially when you're losing tempo in the early game by missing your activation. You mm -hmm. want to slow your opponent down. Yeah, either one or both of those cards are likely to be in the deck. So okay, so the Vigo comes down from uh, the Imperial City. Uh, Vigo is going to try and get a battleground planet. So and Kyle should. Yeah, I, there it is. There's the yeah. Zizor's Palace. So again, uh, Hayes is only getting. Five force next turn. Up oh, now he's getting up to six. So Kyle's getting ten, Kyle, uh, and Hayes is only getting six. So I mean that six is saying, watch. I mean you might see a Luke or you might see something else come down. But and Kyle's not going to worry about. It, but he's just going to move all of his guys over. So no, fa no, uh, no it's not a threat this early with only six force that's one character who's going to yeah. get uh, bountied so i mean kyle's got to be feeling pretty good i mean that about especially with that early turn mm -hmm. from uh that that first turn for hayes being that he's got so limited on his activation i mean i i find it funny that kyle is giving hayes as much force icons as hayes is giving himself at this point and that's not something good for the light side player. Yeah, no, we talked about this once before, a few times before over the last couple of months. And I do agree with the strategy to try and not pull the other battlegrounds on turn one. Mm -hmm. um, just because for two reasons. One, you give yourself, okay, two less icons. You give your opponent one less, especially when they're already kind of mm -hmm. struggling for activation. But you also don't give them a place to deploy. Exactly. You know, if, he, if he wants to put Luke down, Kyle's got six cards in the hands. He can deploy Luke to the sewer now, and he can kind of avoid him, keep him flipped, avoid the damage, mm -hmm. and see just exactly what Kyle has in a six-card hand that, that could deal with Luke, which is probably not a lot. While Hayes continues to dig out his other docking bay, uh, he has the Boss Nash Chamber. There comes mm -hmm. the Jedi Council mm -hmm. Chamber. You know, um, but I feel like you sort of uh, tunnel vision your opponent into one location for a yeah. little bit. 
Okay, yeah. so Hayes misses his docking bay with the insurrection, but he had to speak, he had the other docking bay in his hand, and he's got the boss Nas chamber. So he now has all of his activation on the field. So yeah, yeah and I, really yeah, I was yeah. going to say, finding, like, finding the speak was, finding the speak was mm-hmm. quite fortunate. Uh, and being that Kyle doesn't have rescue, I was going to say, being that Kyle doesn't have Emperor on the table right now, uh, what's the likelihood of maybe dropping an Emperor at the Imperial Square and then moving him over to the JCC at some point? That's possible. Um, I think the Emperor is important enough to the game plan of the deck that you probably want to stack him with some other, particularly Black Sun agents. Mm-hmm. Uh, leaving him alone at a site that the Light Side can deploy to is a little risky. I don't think Kyle needs to be that aggressive at this point. Okay, so here comes the the Luke that we talked about. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, Hayes, or, uh, J- Kyle didn't deploy the fanfare, so he op- he had to have open hand the Luke, or the Zizor's bounty to throw onto the Luke. So that's a bit of luck for him there. And Hayes is just going to go to the Saber. To work with, though. Okay. Looks yeah. like our other matchup today is, uh, right now is... EBO versus ISB. Don't forget to check that out on the, mm-hmm. the multi-channel. Okay, and Hayes just runs away with Luke. I don't... Do you like the play of throwing him down to get the Zizor's bounty out, or... I kind of like it, uh, especially since there's no bounty hunters at the moment for uh, the zero side of agents mm-hmm. to be able to move in front of Luke and set up a beatdown with. It is, it is kind of what Chris was saying before. It's ultimately now just down to Kyle's hand. True. which is not only five cards, to see how much he can beat down Luke with. With Luke being armed and choking the force of its weapons, potentially, a sorry about the mess or something like that available. So, I mean, both of them only have five card hands, so it's a little tough to to really yeah. put a lot together at the moment. But Okay, and there's the battle yeah. plan. So Hayes is now shield busted again. Uh, unless he has a Hear Me Baby or a Perimeter Scan. Uh, you would think he has like a Perimeter Scan to do something with uh, Boba Fett Bounty Hunter. But, okay, Kyle plays Coward, so that's going to inhibit Hayes' retrieval and four strings at non-battlegrounds because Kyle occupies a, non-battle- or a, a battleground, so... And it's going to be interesting to see what he does against Luke. Okay, so here's four Lom. So that's going to be able to cancel Luke's game text, but he's going to need something else. Uh, okay, Rescue in the Clouds. That's the third Rescue in the Clouds for Hayes this game. He keeps finding those. May not have much of anything else. Mm-hmm. He's rescuing into a rescue to try his luck again next turn. Oh, and there's a Boba Fett Bounty Hunter. Okay, so, I mean, that's going to be uh, two Destiny for Kyle, and he's going to be able to cancel Luke's game text here. So that's going to be able to get rid of that Luke. So good early hand for uh, Kyle, and a, a yeah. bit of luck for him. That certainly explains the coward play, since it'll stop uh, the use of Walkling. Oh, that, that right, is... Right, bro. Right, bro. <laughs> that is a <laughs> solid blaster reflection. Now, Luke is not... Uh, we're not out of the woods yet, because... Black Sun is certainly capable mm-hmm. of cracking an immunity six with two destiny draws. True. Uh, it depends. It certainly depends a lot on what Hayes has kind of as backup here. This would be a disastrous. Sorry about the mess, though. Yeah, that would be brutal. Or yeah, if you were able to just get four long out of the battle and overflow, yeah. we well, won't. Can't really overflow fat, but in that case, but still. Yeah, unlike that overflow, but certainly. Okay, okay it's going to go after the four long. So yeah. Step one here, Oof. Matt. He, yeah, he, I think he's hit with that eight. It's obliterated. And Leia, Leia V. v. Interesting. Ooh. I, you know fan. what? Uh, I was going to say that. I believe that's Jerry's favorite card. So, uh, I don't, I'm not sure she's my favorite Leia anymore, but she is certainly, I, I like her a lot. This is, this is unfortunately a matchup where she's not mm-hmm. great. Uh, but. no, uh, she's, 
so she's good against Senate, and the other thing is, in any battle, so Sites, Orange, the system, if she's with a leader of ability less than five, uh, you can cancel the game text. So that's yeah. so pretty good. Okay, Kyle draws a two and a two. Oh, Ooh. no. So that's going to leave the Luke there. Um, depending yeah, on no. what Kyle dr or uh, Hayes draws for Destiny, though, because uh, right now so Kyle's pl power 13 to 6, so... If yeah. Hayes draws no. like a one or a two, you might think he just wants to lose to Luke. Okay, there's a two. So he's down by five. He'll Do feel five I... cards. Yeah, yeah he's I think feel he will feel here. five cards. <laughs> He'll but... feel five cards from his use pile, not think twice. Yeah. So, a bit of a backfire for Kyle. I mean, that seemed pretty strong. Uh yeah. Maybe, maybe wouldn't kill the blaster deflection, but oh, there goes a hear me baby from yeah. the top of his reserve deck. So, but yeah, no, I agree. He's going to speak. Sure. Hojix, Jar Jar, and Padme. So, Hojix losing... is really the only big loss there. Jar Jar too, because if Kyle is playing like a U three PO in his deck, I mean, Jar Jar is one of his outs to get rid of the U three PO. Mm, that is fair, and that that is certainly one of the plans that Agents of the Black Sun can use to defeat a main stack is just mm -hmm. try to just try to damage race them and cover up drains with undercover spies. Yeah, so a bit of a backfire for Kyle, but I mean he did make him lose five cards, which isn't too bad, especially in a match play situation. Making yeah. your opponent lose any force possible, you know, yeah. obviously gives you uh, an advantage going into game. Two. But he's about to take a drain of three here, so... Oh, no, no drain. Lando comes down. He sucked out the bounty. Kyle's got a three-card hand. Yeah. Hayes had an amazing four-card hand. I mean, uh, he got to play Rescue the Cuts three times, so... Yeah. That... <laughs> yeah, yeah actually, dropping this... Lando and Ray will give him two Destiny, and then the total battle Destiny will be plus one, so this might be able to get rid of that Zyzor. This is the other reason that I like um, that I like playing the loot the previous turn to pull out the bounty because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because Kyle really had to play bounty there you you can't you you can't just let Luke fight you for for free when you mm -hmm. have the bounty there um, but it opens him up to this uh, this follow up beat down here now the interesting the the good thing for Kyle though is uh, the Zizor is forfeit plus two so he's currently sitting at forfeit six so if hayes does battle and draws extremely low i mean he could just lose the the vigo it seems unlikely but yeah that's yeah this is throne room we're talking about he's getting two destiny and ray's adding one to the total and he's not going to beat six i mean it could happen it definitely yeah. could happen i wouldn't bet on it <laughs> Okay, it's oh, a one, but he'll be able to take that into a hand. That's so broken. It is. Okay, there's oh, a five, so yep, well, that's gonna there, get rid of that's so. that should be able to get rid of that Vigo. As long as he doesn't draw the only location left in his deck or get in a dark time. That's gonna clear them both. Yep. No, that's uh is that Yeah. Because yep. they're both four pet six. Yeah, it's going to get both, and uh, I presume we're losing Lando here, and yeah. stack up the two characters who are left. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Z's, uh, Zizor is only immune less than five, so yeah, it's definitely going to get Probably. rid of both. So, Probably Kyle's... Be loop. Yep. Yeah, I can see that, because that Drain of Three is just going to be able... I mean, the Drain of Three is going to be nice, and I want to say, what's the new game text on the sewers? Is it, it is an exchange... But you don't have to control uh, it or anything. So yeah, once per game, you can just exchange. So that seems pretty good. I mean, that's I like that a lot better than the uh, the old game text of you have to occupy three battlegrounds and then you can just retrieve into hand. So yeah, one would think that uh, Kyle is going to have to just retool Draw. for a turn here. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe Reload. maybe get his last maybe get his last sight out and. Draw some cards, and, and with Luke being down there at the sewers, is it really a big loss to lose the Zizor, as it once was? Because I mean, yeah, probably you're, not. 
Yeah, because it, it's Zizor is a good character and everything, but I think it's a bigger loss that you lost the Forlom like you did, and you didn't get rid of the Luke because Forlom's one of your outs to get rid of Luke, as well as some other big bigger characters. Yeah, not not clearing the loot there is a uh, is the bigger the bigger lost battle for sure. Okay, so the emperor comes down for two. Yeah, Kyle's definitely in a little bit of a hole here, but uh, you know, still early enough in the game, they both still have over mm-hmm. thirty cards remaining. That uh, if he can find a way to stabilize in the next one to two turns and reload his hand and have some options, uh, he can get back in this game. Yeah, it looks like that is, that's exactly what he's going to do, is just reload up on his hand. He saves four. Interesting. He can draw one with shadows if he needs extra cards, so. True. Yeah, I can assume that Hayes is just going to drain and do probably the same thing of re-upping on his hand. Okay, Emperor Arsing and Shell Afra. Oof. Those are some important cards for Kyle. And because of the change to the uh, sewer text, Afra cannot be retrieved. Mm -hmm. Well, she can't be uh, exchanged with the sewer. I mean, if he has like a no escape or something, he can get her back that way. Right, yeah, you can't get Afra back to then go get U3PO back and keep mm-hmm. looping those guys over and over. That was part of the, the sewer change there. And we know that Hayes, one of the cards in his hands, well, we know two of the cards in Hayes' hands at this point. One of them is Luke, and the other one is uh, 10 and 4. So what we could see is maybe we'll see Hayes come down with a Tantive uh, in the next like turn or two, so that way he can, st- he can stop paying to drain. Yeah, he's got to find some pilots, obviously. Um, you know, he's not going to move. I mean, the option would be to move Luke and Ray back outside, and then next turn he could shuttle Ray up to the Tandiv. But that's still not a great spot to be in. He doesn't want to put the Tandiv down until yeah. he's got at least two or three guys to, to, to pile up on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we and saw that Anakin, Anakin should still be in deck since it was drawn for Destiny last yep. turn. So, Kyle, yeah. he would not have. He's yeah, he probably just... running two. Mm, that's fair. Yeah, he's got the, uh, Lando in his lost pile. Ray, I want to say Leia's in his lost pile as well. So, I mean, he really hasn't lost a lot of characters. Yeah, Whereas uh, the, the Padme's lost Leia's, uh, Leia. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and the Padme is actually... I, I, losing the Padme might be uh, an issue because that's one of the easier ways to get rid of the Falling's Fist. Especially if Kyle can put, like, Guri on the Falling's Fist so he doesn't get that second destiny from, like, a Lando or... Like a Hera. Yep. Well, a lot of the uh, top throne room lists we've seen lately, they're running double Anakin, double Padme, double Ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he, he lost one version of them, and uh, I'm sure he's going to find the second one, or a Jedi Lev to uh, to get one back in the hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there may be some possibility that he adjusted the list slightly given the tournament format and what he's expecting to play against. But mm-hmm. and if he did, one Padme is probably the copy of those of those doubles that would get lost because you're probably not ex- you're probably expecting fewer Vaders. But yeah, I know a lot of people have switched over to other cards, uh, maybe going down to one pad, maybe just because we haven't seen a lot of Vaders outside of like a hunt or a hunt down. Uh, people are playing more malls at this point, so and being that mall cancels Padme's game text, do you want to go with like a a Padme where her game text is not going to be used, or do you go with like other characters, like a, a double Ray? Because now you can get Ray's light or Anakin's lightsaber put on Ray, so. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, these two guys are very familiar with each other being teammates, so they may have a more familiarity with their play styles and their lists and their deck building. 
um, to know whether or not he's got two Padme. I think Hayes would find more use out of Padme for the Destiny to Attrition, as we talked about earlier, between mm -hmm. Imperial Justice or Guri uh, limiting draws. The extra Attrition Destiny certainly is going to clear two to three characters per battle. Yeah, the choice of the choice of the layup persona would also mm -hmm. would would also make running the second Padme better um, because that Leia does do something in space, whereas General Leia, who is mm. often played, and Leia Rebel Princess really don't. Right. Um, yeah, that Leia being able to cancel game text of a leader of ability less than five gets characters like the Prince, like P fifty nine, like. Uh, you know, a number of the alien pilots that the Java Space Cruiser could pull. Yeah, the the new Thrawn uh, could also cancel. I mean, I know in, in this matchup you don't see her, but uh, Lady Proxima can get rid of her game text. It can get, yeah, there's a lot of like yeah. aliens that you can get with the, the Java Space Cruiser that would, are successful or vulnerable to that Leia. I mean, she, yeah. hit, he, she hits that, she hits almost all admirals. Or actually, no, she hits all admirals, so that's powerful. Yeah. Okay, it looks like the Emperor's going to go over. So, I mean, Kyle saw Hayes lose the Hear Me Baby, and he's already shield broken. So, I like this play because now Hayes can't play his own Cower Shield. He definitely can't, but uh, I think we're likely to see, you know, some version of an EPP OB or Qui-Gon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, curious to see if Hayes is running uh, R2, as we've seen in some of That's the throne room lists, um, mm. to turn the the you know the two Coruscant non-battlegrounds both have scomp links that he can turn into extra battlegrounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, R2 has been pretty pretty common from what I've seen lately. Um, mm -hmm. A Destiny Five spy that turns a non-battleground into a battleground and goes used when his loss is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And he comes force down for one, for one force. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty solid, and he gets around cold feet as we learned on the rulings for him because he never actually goes to the lost pile. So, oh, interesting. But yeah, obviously deploying somebody, clearing the emperor, and then you know moving over uh, certainly creates a lot of uh, difficulty for Kyle if that were to happen. But mm -hmm. we'll see what Hayes has in his fourteen card hand now. Yeah. So the only caveat is that being the emperor. Uh, and not having seen whether he's tried to pull Force Lightning or not would mean that you can't use necessarily all of the Beat Squad combinations that Throne Room has. Uh, like deploying Chewie solo mm -hmm. would be quite risky. But Agreed. any of the EPP Jedi are a pretty safe bet. So, yeah. Or Ahsoka or something. Yeah. I mean, Ahsoka's not too good down there. I mean, she does make his destiny minus one, but at the same time, I mean, she's, he is still immune to attrition, so you won't, unless you draw super high to super low, you're not going to be, I don't think Kyle's I mean, pairing, going... Ahso pairing Ahsoka with any, with almost any character mm -hmm. who's difficult to force lightning, like an Anakin or second Padme, like additional power is the thing right. you'd be aiming for there. Because Ahsoka already outpowers the mm -hmm. Emperor on top of the minus one to the destiny draw. Okay, so we got a question in the chat. Uh, why does R two D two? Why does R two and Tanto's icon adding text make things battlegrounds, but Prophecy of the Force does not? Uh, because Prophecy of the Force only adds icons when it's at a battleground already. Yeah, because it starts on a non battleground location, and they didn't want to turn the Jedi Council chamber into a battleground site. Which that would then just be you just silly. first turn pull Yoda, put a lightsaber on him, and now suddenly you've got Yoda draining at a four one <laughs> battleground. Or conversely, you don't necessarily want Lightside to have to defend a four drain battleground on turn one every time. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so Kyle is drained. He loses a Never Yarnal from his hand. He loses Probot and Zam Wessel from his reserve deck. So Kyle's, Two unfortunately more. for him, he's losing good characters left and right. Yeah, Kyle's bleeding pretty hard right now. And uh, he's at this point, he's going to go into diff grinding mode. Yeah, I mean, it's un kind of unfortunate that in a 12-card hand like that, Never Yarnall was the only bad card that he had mm -hmm. access to, so he had to just peel the rest. Um, I guess you don't really want to have drawn bad cards, but there's also enough uh, enough situational cards that are going to be floating around in your deck that 
Yeah. You might have seen one by now that you wouldn't mm-hmm. need. And Kyle has a mountain of force left for next turn. I mean, he's got 11 saved, and it's Hayes' turn. So, yeah. Whatever he's going to do is going to be big and bold, and it's going to have to be something to really swing the game. And with the huge jicks and the lost pile, uh, he might have an option there. Mm-hmm. We, we saw the hidden weapons he drew for, for Destiny earlier, and the human baby's lost. If you can hidden weapons Luke, beat the crap out of Ray. Unless Hayes has got double hoojicks, that could be something that really gets Kyle back in the match. True. Up oh, there's a lot of Rebel Princess, so Hayes doesn't have to worry about that drain of three next turn. So he doesn't yeah. have to do... Yeah, that's, he's playing two Leia's. Interesting. And he doesn't yeah, really he have to do... I mean, I like this play just because... I, I mean, she's good against this deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, uh, Kyle needs, what, P59, Guri, Forlom, Probot. Cards that he's lost... He's already lost two of those four, so. And now she's got a gun. So even if one of the droids hits the table, he can shoot the droid and end the battle. Yeah, actually, you know what? Uh, I stand corrected. I forgot about my card, Tarkin's bounty. Uh, yes, he can't cancel a drain. Yeah, he can't true, cancel right? her. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I, I'm I, sorry. I wonder if I wonder if Hayes forgot about that too. It's uh, it's something that people were talking about on the forums this week, uh, you know, in terms of the skill level of players and things like that and how to be a great player. And one of them is knowing second and third functions of mm-hmm. cards very well. Everybody knows Tarkin's Bounty, what it does, it gets a card out of your force pile. But there's other text on the card, and that can be a difference sometimes in how matches are played yeah. in one. Well, I mean, of, of all people who should remember that, it, it should be me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. Well. So this is so this is all your fault, is what we're saying. Yeah, pretty much. Everything's all my fault. Just blame me for everything. I I am the start of COVID nineteen. I'm glad you can admit that finally. So for all that we were talking about, uh, Kyle potentially having a big beat down here. He activated everything, so he's going to space. Mm. Yeah, he's going to drain. If if Kyle remembers that the drain can't be canceled, that's the other thing. Hayes may not ever. Hayes may have remembered. Well, I will say. I mean, anyway. yeah. See if Kyle will not pay to drain. Mm. And Kyle it's doesn't. Possi- yeah, it, it's possible he might need all of his force to try to deploy stuff to I the to it. the ground and to space. Um, to try to try to secure satisfying battle plan in a way that protects mm. you from. But that's still down, three but... damage. That's still three damage in a match play format. It's three cards in hand. Hayes has got 13 yeah. cards in hand. He's going to lose a couple of pieces yeah. and whatnot that he doesn't need anymore. But Yeah, and I like I like this point. Somebody pointed out, you go to space, you drop three, you 3 PO, and then you drain. Mm-hmm. Nope, no drain. Ah, oh, that's... Nope. Yeah, I he think Kyle might have... Maybe, maybe Kyle forgot about it. Maybe Kyle got bluffed out of it. And this is or something I'm, I, I would love to... All this force. Yeah, it could also be that. I would love to ask both players like if they both forgot about that. I doubt Hayes forgot about it. And maybe he just wanted to get the Leia's blaster rifle out. But But yeah, I think going to space though for Kyle is the right right thing. I mean, we do know that like we said Hayes has the tentative. It's just a question is does he have the secondary pilot the, the pilots to drop onto it? Okay, mm. IG-88 comes down. Now, I mean, IG-88 can be battle, or can battle. He cannot be be battled. Yeah. So, I mean, throwing him down now isn't, might not be too risky. But I, I don't like playing him and just leaving him there. Unless I mean, he's got it, a program trap. <laughs> if he's got a program trap, that's that would be impressive. <laughs> Okay, Balatik come down, comes down. Somebody who we don't see a lot of. And a Vigo comes down. Mm. Well, uh, okay, There's so yeah. Three battlegrounds. He's he got three battlegrounds, so he can uh, now okay. use shadows. And I imagine then Vigo's going to move away from that yeah. disaster. Or unless the Balatik is going to move into it. Uh, that doesn't seem likely. Yeah, that seems yeah that seems far more risky. Okay, 
He loses a Battle Planes from his hand. Yeah, I don't think that card's going to be as important in this game. No, he's not going off planet. He's just going to yeah. dominate Coruscant. And again, Bream 25 is on point this morning. IG-80 can also move to the bounty during the control phase using the objective. Yep. yep. So, obviously, he moves those two guys away, and if Leia or Luke moves over, I mean, obviously, he can move Leia and Ray over and kind of leave Luke there or whatnot if he wants to spread, but, mm -hmm. you know, okay, he or just deploy like, other characters. Now he's he gonna moves, move over. Yeah, and they move for free, so mm -hmm. that's not bad. Okay. Hayes uses one to play the escape cop combo, try and get a Jajarek into his hand, Let's see if he's got any. Double Hujix. So Maybe a Grimtosh. Something, since we're not verifying. He's got the Grimtosh! Uh, well, I mean, he does know he has a possibility of facing Matt Wadden in the finals, so playing the Grimtosh yeah, in his deck is a smart... Is, is playing smart because... As if anybody from Continentals last year's remember, Matt Wadden does not like Grimtosh. And Hayes was the tournament director at that event. Yeah. So, I wonder if we're going to see a Grimtosh against a Matt Wadden. That would be exciting. Yeah, it's also just a good card in general for Throne Room, because mm -hmm. usually when your opponent's getting limited in their activation, they tend to draw larger hands to try and find stuff, mm -hmm. and Grimtosh can slow them right back down. Yeah. Okay, so we're on Hayes' next turn. Okay. I was going to say that Resistance mm -hmm. isn't going to do anything for him. Yeah, that Resistance not, not yet. doesn't not do yet. anything at the moment, but... Now, I wonder if Hayes is just going to leave the Emperor alone. Being that he thinks, I mean, if he thinks that the Emperor, uh, that Leia can cancel that drain, I, I think he'll just leave the Emperor alone and then just hopefully try and use the Leia's game text. Now, the other thing is, I mean, she, she won't stop the drain, or well, she, she would stop the drain at the palace's site, so... I mean, she's not, not she's not not useful at this point. Okay. Yeah. Well, then then we'll really get to see the gamesmanship of who knows mm -hmm. what their cards do. Ooh. Uh, is if uh, oh. is if Kyle drains at the Coruscant, uh, Kyle drains at the Zizzers Palace, and Hayes doesn't cancel it, then we'll get then we'll then I think then we'll really get to see if uh, who who knows what Tarkin's bounty does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Kyle loses two ships from his deck. He loses the Falling's Fist and the Ellison Hintra. That's pricey. Yeah. And if this Zuckus goes down in flames here. Yeah, because again we Tantif, we... Anakin. Yep. Bail, whoever, you know. Okay. And we have <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi -Wan with lightsaber coming down. So there's the play against the Emperor. So, yeah, Hayes, I'm, I'm going to guess that Hayes remembers the, the Tarkin's Bounties game text. Because yep. throwing I mean, the Obi-Wan down. Oh, and Hera. Ooh. Yeah, so this could also just be just be an opportunity to to get a beat down. And because if, there's, if there isn't a Force Lightning here from Kyle, mm -hmm. then there's a definite chance of some overflow here and the other important thing is uh, the other important thing is that would get Tarkin's bounty off the, the the table so even if he throws down like another emperor he can actually he'll start being able to use Leia's game text some more mm -hmm. so yeah I I mean I would imagine that the survivor of this battle is going to move over to the square and mm -hmm. threaten and threaten another well I guess not Adrena 3 because of coward but yeah, so they got, stop you... the stop the emperor from deploying again this is probably the big deal True. With that. Well, to play for two instead of the five. Uh, no, and while you while emperor. you occupy, yeah, while Lightside occupies the square, they can't deploy the emperor at all. Oh, anywhere, anywhere to Coruscant. To Coruscant, yeah. Uh, so still, they wouldn't be able to deploy him at all <laughs> based on the other location. Okay, so <laughs> Greedo comes down. So that's why Kyle's been saving two. So he's trying to play Greedo as a react. Let's see if Hayes will allow it. Uh, most common react counselor here would probably be of Nestor combo. Yep. Uh, well, it looks like Kyle does, or Hayes has an action, and he's thinking about it. He's thinking about a barrier, too, because barrier is not going to be so helpful 
True. Uh, Because he doesn't want to keep Grigo there. He obviously Mm -hmm. wants to have nobody at the site. So he's got the sense. So He's going to hurt himself with the do or do not. Yeah, Yeah, but I I think that's the better. You, You have to do it. Yeah, but it's it's probably worth it. There's a, oh. a sense to cancel a sense. <laughs> we have ourselves an old fashioned sense war. Not surprising, two old school players. Okay, Kyle draws a five, so that sense is going to go through. He is uh, he's only going to be pinged one though because he's got the decree out. Yes. That's actually something I was debating on the initial setup because Decree otherwise doesn't seem very useful against Throne Room for this particular matchup. But if you are playing a number of senses and expecting mm-hmm. to get to be playing senses more than once in the game or are expecting to get hit by firepower or not firepower, um, weapons display, then it's pretty reasonable to uh, to actually start Decree in, in, this, in this matchup. It also does give you an out against Clash. If True. Yes. that's a possibility. Okay, he's right now, five and a five. Would that would be huge. Well, I mean, would <laughs> that that would be huge? Also, uh, uh, we have a comment from Bastion. Uh, only controlling the Imperial Square will prevent the deploy of the Emperor. Occupying oh, is not true. enough. Yes, occupying yeah. does not. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so well, the yeah. Emperor is so going to be hit. Deploy somebody else there first in front of you and risk getting barriered or whatnot, and then yeah, to get the Emperor back down. It's uh. It's a complicated turn. Yeah. It's certainly a play you can make, but... Yeah. Okay, so Amper's hit. Uh, oh, and there and there's a sorry about sorry. the mess, so this is going to be brutal for for Kyle. Uh, imbalance so, combo? Imbalance, yeah. Nope. Oh. He had the Lana Dobry to preserve his forfeit, but that doesn't matter now. No. Nope. And then no. we go... I suppose the only saving grace here is that Hera does not draw an extra destiny yep. now, but yeah. mostly inconsequential. It almost makes you wonder why Hayes was sensing the react to begin with. Why wouldn't he save the sense to protect yeah. the sub party Sorry combo? I think yeah. there's some, I mean, I, I think there's a, uh, a reasonable case he made to save the sorry combo to, to just to potentially ha- hold it back because if he doesn't have the greed there he doesn't have to use the sorry combo at all that's okay. right oh, like he, would, he does have a gick though yeah he yeah. would probably be quite happy with emperor being forfeit zero although i guess not in this case and then destroying mm-hmm. two destinies against him and saving the sorry combo particularly for use with the latest blaster rifle um but you do what you have to do okay mm-hmm. He ended up even not having to lose force to his own uh, do or do not with the sense because his sense got sensed. So yeah, and there was and yeah, there was a I mean, there was always still a possibility of Hayes missing, but I will say this: he's been putting fives back like it's his job. Yeah, they both I mean, verified. So yeah, yeah they, they verified Hayes's reserve. They didn't share with us what it was, but it seems it seems likely at this stage of the game that uh, hitting the emperor was. Mm-hmm. Extremely likely. So he drew a five for battle of destiny. He drew two fives for weapon destiny. And I want to say his. Uh, we don't know what what a, uh, he didn't draw for sense. So, but yeah, I mean, three fives in a row was pretty good. Okay, he moves Luke over into the sewers. So yeah, now he can move the uh, Obi Wan and Hera over to the square and threaten that drain of three. Well, moving Leia over. I don't like the moving Leia over. Nope. He's moving away from the IG-88, so he yeah. can't oh, use the yeah. to move to the bounty. Well, I mean, he could have he could have moved the Luke over by himself, because then that would have saved Ray and Le- Leia there to. He only had two force. He wasn't going to be able to move if he's going to move the other two. There's no need for Hayes to put himself in a riskier position right now. He's got True. the game well in hand. Don't take any chances that you don't mm-hmm. need to. Yeah. And that's the other thing, too, obviously. If he wants to leave a force to use Leia's gun, if he's leaving Leia and Rey alone, then he can't move Obi and Hera. That's true. So the whole thing gets complicated, and you're better off just keeping your guys together. Yeah. You take a drain of one, which you then cancel the other drain of one, and it's a wash. I would say the one saving grace there would be that... uh... With Probot and and uh, Afra both gone, it's not it's not very likely that anyone could come to fight Hera alone in the council chamber. Mm-hmm. 
but yeah. if there's some if there's some spy that he hasn't accounted for or some extra spy that Kyle's found that he's running or even a second copy of either of those cards then could be very bad so well not only that i mean with the hair uh, with the afra and the probot gone he doesn't have to worry about uh, Kyle dropping a uh, dude down to the boss nest chamber presence of the force is still a possibility mm -hmm. unlikely but you know yeah. it's just not worth any of these weird risks you know you, you've yeah. got you're losing basically no cards this turn because you get drained for one in space and then you actually retrieve that so you get a card out of hand back into your life force true which actually only ups yeah. his diff uh in this situation while he continues yeah. to drain for three well no that card goes back to his hand so no, no it goes on top of the reserve deck yeah, it goes on top of reserve oh so he lost a four from hand and then put it on top of his reserve deck. So he actually Im yeah. improved his differential by Kyle a, draining him. A four that he wouldn't have been able to put back otherwise, too. Right. It's early. I'm making mistakes left and right. No I like that. Uh, uh, Kyle verified, or uh, Kyle gave a, rever a verified of his reserve deck and he gave us the Desi numbers, but then said, or so. Okay, there's that. And there's another Emperor. Yeah, that Emperor is pretty much limited to heading towards the Zizzard's Palisades, though. Staying, yeah. I mean, staying at the staying at the square, I suppose, is possible. But I, I think if you're I think if you're Kyle, though, you're looking for your U three PO. If he's got, I mean, he's playing the Never Yarnall to protect against like a Corn Horn, so he well, needs. Never Yarnall. He, he could certainly have multiple Never Yarnalls, but certainly one yeah. is gone. Yeah, I think he'll probably. Uh... Okay. Yep. Either deploy a second guy or shuffle a second guy. Mm -hmm. Get a shadows ping. Obviously, looking for a dark time would be pretty good here. So there is that one force that he was able to get back with Leia. So yeah, he knew it was on top of his deck, and he knew it was the shadows. Mm -hmm. So that was easy enough. Yeah, it's a uh, card that getting, yeah. I mean, getting the four Destiny back in your deck is certainly good, but it's also, I mean, the extra yeah. speaks are certainly, certainly cards you can freely lose without worrying basically at all Ooh. about it at this point, so. Good. Glad to see Bill Kafer, Taco Bill's on. Uh, for those who don't, who are watching and don't know, if you were knocked out in the first round, uh, Taco Bill is going to be, is putting together a Constellation Bracket for uh, the Constellation for the NPC. It's going to be starting later this week, I believe, but yeah, uh, check the forums for that. Uh, he made a little bit of a post for it. So again, anybody who was knocked out in the first round. So Justin and Chris, you guys are not able to play in it. Such as it is. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if this is unfortunate or a good thing for me, but I am able to play in it. <laughs> Any day you get to play Star Wars is a good day, right, Dan? Uh, I. You know what? Getting not. I mean, I play, like, playing against Adam Tronzo. I mean. I felt good for the most part. I mean, I know I made a little, a few mistakes. Uh, it wasn't like the cleanest game, but you know, it was a learning experience. So, so Kyle again saved four force here. Is he playing the or saved three and activated one with white? But... What's the? Uh, is there? An, is a trap for dark side? I'm trying to remember. No, no just any leader. Or yeah, no, there's, yeah. Uh, yeah. there's there's a justice in case of wookie, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. That would be that would be an interesting card for. This is more players. likely just another re Greedo number two. Greedo number two uh, is. I mean, that could also be a barrier. Mm -hmm. You got. You got to think he's playing. Horse, draw the mm -hmm. fire. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think there 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 must be there must be defensive tricks here because otherwise this the split of characters. I mean. He's a little limited in what he can do, so maybe he just has to do it this way. Mm -hmm. um, but he, like, we haven't seen a solo or Chewy yet. That, and there's a sorry about the mess in the Lost Files, so there's certainly the potential of something quite disastrous happening here. Yeah. Um, you know, I've seen a lot less Chewy in Throne Rooms recently. So maybe maybe there is no Chewy. Uh, but there is probably the possibility of, like, a Qui-Gon. Um, Anakin yeah. with his lightsaber also could come down. And again, Hayes hasn't gone down to space at all. So, I mean, we know that he has the Tandem in his hand. And yeah. Benis Keeg is only forfeit four. So, I mean, the likelihood I mean, of... 
he's up enough force that he I mean he might not go he might not go to space with Tanev at all until yeah. until very late in the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, but if you get rid of that Zuckus, and when you know that Kyle has lost, uh, what, two or... No, he's lost two he's other lost shifts two at this point. The, the fist and uh, the hand, uh, mm -hmm. Alice and Hinthra. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, anything he can do to get rid of Zuckus would certainly shut down almost all of Kyle's damage at this point. Yeah. But he's got a pretty small hand himself mm -hmm. to have... You know, if he has the tandem, we know, but to have at least two pilots, even Anakin by himself... Is just going to end up in the lost pile after the first battle. Yeah. Because all his guys are at interior sites right now. He doesn't have the option to shuttle anybody up. Shoto casts. It's an interesting yeah. card to play. I suppose that makes sense since you're running the hidden weapons. Yeah. And he yeah. lost. The, so he lost Gurry from his hand and Jedekas from his reserve deck. And then the other thing about getting Bosk with IG88 to the uh, the uplink station with the Vigo and Balati down, that's going to satisfy. That satisfies resistance for Kyle, so he only loses two there instead of mm -hmm. the three. And it sets up to be able to move against Luke the next turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Question is, we have enough force left to do anything with that though? He's down to thirteen cards. Yeah. Up oh, there's the R two. Oh. This could be quite bad. Yep, there's force an lighting? R2 for one. <laughs> this would yeah. be a good time for force lightning. This would be the best time for force lightning. <laughs> but if he doesn't have it and has to pull it, that's Hayes then rough. gets the action next to deploy. Yeah. Now he hasn't he hasn't been searching for it. He hasn't been doing anything really for the first no. force lightning. So if he has it in his hand, and action is still on Kyle, so yeah. This could potentially be bad uh, for Hayes, Kyle. No, Hayes' clock is the one that's counting down now. Okay, so uh, we just have a, chew, a Han. So maybe we're going to see a Chewie here. Or maybe he's saving the Force Lightning for like a Chewie. So if he throws down... Well, actually, no, he can't throw down Chewie no, in battle. I think an Anakin would be the most likely then, if he has Saber in hand. Mm -hmm. Well, even if he doesn't have the Saber in hand, he can just pull it. That's true. Oh, no, okay. just end up moving. He's just going to move everybody. Yeah. No, I mean the emperor would be able is able to run away here, and that still won't be a drain for Hayes. So uh, no, it will now because it's a battleground. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And it'll yeah. be a drain of three. Uh, Although that no, will be it would be a drain of two. System. Well, yeah, it would be a drain. It's a drain of three, but it'll be capped by the system. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. If you force lightning, no. even if he, he's still able to force lightning the uh, R2. So not if he there. force. Huh? No, he, he's verified. He verified. No, it's not there. But no, yeah, if he, he could, if he could find the force lightning this, in his turn. Whole, yeah, the, the way that this line went would, would suggest to me that he is not actually playing a force lightning and just wanted to see his mm -hmm. return. Now, the other thing is. The Force Lightning, he, uh, being that Solo's down, he could sense the Force Lightning? He could. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, that could would be a loss of two, time. but in the long run, I, I think Hayes would be fine with taking the two from do or do not to mm -hmm. keep a drain of two going. Right. And now the only way the Emperor can really move is toward the other Coruscant characters. He can't mm -hmm. move to the audience chamber or to the uh, Jedi Council chamber because then he's going to be stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. And if he doesn't have a second gick, that would could be uh, pretty brutal. Yeah, if Emperor, if Emperor moves in, then Obi Wan can just move over, and yeah, then. Yeah. Now I wonder if one if the, if there is a Force Lightning in his deck, it's one of those four cards. I mean, he's pretty much kept one card in his Force pile the entire game. Mm -hmm. Well, so. he did use he used all of his Force to play the Greedo, so that's true. So even if that even if the force lightning had been the bottom card of force for most of the game, it, it would have been cycled at that point there. Just to give you an update on our other matchup, if you're not watching the live stream there, uh, JJD playing ISB, Matt Wadden playing EBO. They are both at about 15 cards total remaining. That's a that's a hard matchup for ISB. It could potentially a be a long, hard match. Yeah, it's gonna be that was gonna be a long, long grindy game. 
Okay. It depends a lot. So, I mean, the interesting thing with that is it depends a lot on the specific build of ISB. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a number, uh, some of the ISB decks were doing the um, echo, like the the Hoth, sorry, the Hoth locations with signing away V. They were starting uh, the third marker and they were running um, uh, Imperial Decree non V. Mm -hmm. um, both yep. of those are slightly, slightly problematic against EBO, though, because uh that side becomes shielded and then they're often leaning on the dark side hoth docking bay which is also shielded under ebo so uh, it makes no. it, it makes it challenging to pull off their <laughs> their strategy uh jared is playing the uh cloud city version so ah okay so none of that none of that will come into play then in that matchup uh, i was i was hoping jared was going to play his uh dagobah cave slip sliding away deck because that just looked mm. fun but not knowing what Matt Wan is going to play, I mean that's a smart move. Right. Okay, so we got the U three PO coming down. So, but a sorry about the mess in the lost pile. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, about the, sorry about the mess in the lost pile with uh, with Solo down. Unless Kyle's got another sense in hand. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, there are many com there are many counters to sorry about the mess. Turn it off. So. Turn it off. Imbalance sense. Any of those would be fine. Yeah, a number of possibilities here, but U3PO not as secure a play as it might be in other circumstances. Mm -hmm. Also, since as we discussed, Chelly or Doctor Apper's gone, so if this U3PO does get cracked, then it's going to mm -hmm. be gone permanently. And Kyle has not used his, his uh, exchange yet. True. It's true. But at this point, what would you want to exchange? Yeah, it seems like at this point, Kyle is just trying to mitigate the differential. Because mm -hmm. uh, that turn was the best opportunity for him to try to make something happen against the death stack at the sewer, since he had two bounty hunters that he could move over. No, oh, Django given Fett it, coming given, down. Given he activated everything. And... I think he realizes he has to, I mean, if he can get rid of the solo, that should help him. Or at least do the once per I mean, game with solo. He can't get a battle. Yeah. Oh, he moves the Emperor into the JCC. I think the Django Fett play here is to move along with yeah. the Emperor to prevent what we were talking about before, where Obi-Wan just moves over and pins yeah. the Emperor. And he's going to track another five. Yep. I mean, he's his uh, force, his life force is low enough now that he can be sure he will draw that five for Battle Destiny if that's mm -hmm. what he wants to do. And the other advantage to the R2 making the second battleground is he can finally Wackling if he wants to to actually retrieve a force for making any uh, big moves. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, he's at 20 life force. That's, mm -hmm. in match play, that's still pretty good. 20 to yeah. 11 representing a drain of 3 this turn, or 2 this turn. Possibly 4 if he uh, picks off the droid. Mm-hmm. No, I mean he would be paying for the trains, but I mean with that, right, just... with that, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say that's gonna be not a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, he did save three, so I mean that's showing representation of a Qui Gon or maybe an well, Anakin with saber. Uh, he activated all of his force to do that, so mm. it, m it might not be representing anything, but certainly would still leave open the possibility of a oh oh wrong phase, yeah. The other option here, too, we could finally see that Tanev come down. Now that his guys are outside, he can shuttle up Solo and Hera to the Tanev. Mm -hmm. mm, that is also true. And they're just doing this to... Yeah, they're, they're, they're just doing this to, re they can do to it revert. revert. Yeah. Clearly it's supposed to be control phasing. I'm sorry about the mess, I think, is what Hayes is trying to do here. Absolutely. Uh, looks like uh, Scott and Joe Olsen are currently watching this game as well. Up, up to 40, and we are currently up to 41 viewers on this one, so that's pretty good. I'm just reading a close race because, to be honest, I'm not sure I've ever seen that imply before. <laughs> uh, not since 2002. No. I'd be about 10 years too early for me, so. <laughs> yeah, pod racing was brutal pre uh, virtual cards, so. And then Hayes telling Kyle to remember to wipe. Yeah, Always since we, 
Yeah, and since we did, <laughs> yeah, since, since they did a bunch of reverting at the beginning of Hazer's turn, definitely, yeah. definitely possible that. Uh, okay, Kyle so might have forgotten there's the game sorry about the mess that. with Solo. Let's see if Kyle Kyle has a sense, which is so. still ultimately the getting is, the same force loss. Yeah, that's the funny yeah. part. He loses the sense and one other card, which is the same as the drain the two. But I mean, that's uh, going to keep it. So that would keep the U three PO there. So in the long run, it, it makes sense. Yeah, no, it, I I think it's I, yeah, I, I think it's a reasonable <laughs> play to play the sense there. Um, oh, yeah. Just as just as it's reasonable to play the sorry about the mess there. Mm -hmm. um, right. This turn, you you net out even, and then if a corn horn comes down or something like that, well then, you know. But any turn after this is you know still yeah. beneficial to Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now. I'm wondering if he's playing Corn Horn because I've seen a lot of like the uh, throne room lists. Drop Corn Horn, but play like a Jar Jar with your mm -hmm. Weesas because you I mean you're playing maybe three to uh, on average like four Weesas. So that's another way of getting rid of the U three PO. But we know that Jar Jar's in Hayes's Lost Pile, so mm -hmm. I think we saw what it was like three point six or three point seven on the breakdown that uh, Echo Base Trooper did. Yeah, Look, that someone was playing invasion to throw off the numbers on that. Battle Dread Blaster Rifle had the highest average with eight. <laughs> okay, and loses uh, hidden weapons from his reserve deck. Yeah, I doubt that card's going to come. That card. Wasn't going to come into play at any point. Average and was Lisa's three point four five leases. Okay, so really, they Ever. split the difference between three and four copies per deck. Yeah. Exactly, evenly, weirdly. So, uh, given that there were leases in twenty decks in the MPC, which honestly feels kind of low. I kind of thought the numbers on main decks were a little higher than that, but. 20 decks, so... 20 out of 64. A third, roughly. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, because I mean, but... And, oh, 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 there's a there's corn, the horn. corn Horn. So he's playing Corn Horn, Jar Jar. So yeah, that should be able to get rid of that mm -hmm. U3PO, so... It makes sense to run a lot, to run heavy on the yeah. undercover spot cancelers, um, given the prevalence of mm -hmm. Agents of the Black Sun in the meta, and that this is one of their primary ways to defeat Throne Remains and hit Kevin. Now, sort of the question is, Is does Kyle have a second nar uh, Never Yarnal? No. No, he does not. No. no. So, it works out pretty much yeah. the way Hayes wanted to. He basically got to do two damage for free, instead of doing Paying three for it, mm -hmm. and now he's got enough force left to uh, to shuttle some guys up. Yeah, yep. there's the Hera. Probably see Solo go up as well. And the question is, is how many times? He's, I know he's used Leia once. Did he use Leia a second no. time last he, turn? I think did use no. Leia last turn. No, no he did. Uh, no, he did not. He took uh, two damage. Uh, let me double check. We'll go check through the old chat log, but yeah, yeah, I want to say he didn't. So he loses. lost a Rey. He lost a Luke. Uh, no, he he does not appear to have used the no. lens. Yeah, he course. lost the uh, Jedi's concentration to the ping damage. He lost uh, right. speak right. to the uplink. He lost Ray to yeah Ray so to the other. So yeah. if he wants yeah. to now, he can cancel the drain at the That's JCC it. this mm -hmm. turn. Yeah, yep. like that there it is. The correct play. So that's why he definitely didn't need to move Obi over. Now Obi can maintain the second battleground site. We're now he's draining for free. Kyle will obviously do three damage this turn between the two drains and the ping from shadows. And then he's got to start thinking about you know what his last out is. Yeah, does he have any last bit of damage he can do, or does he just draw up here? Yeah, because Kyle can't shuttle any of his guys up to Zuckus. Um, I want to say Hayes is like... just going to lose from hand. 
Yeah, I, I kind of feel like playing out the turn just has to be... Oh, he loses a Sokatana from his reserve deck, so he's he's under 20 cards in his life force right now, unless he decides to Walkling right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he'll he'll certainly Walkling if, uh, if Kyle starts drawing up, but yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's better for Kyle to just keep playing oh. it out here. Yep, Kyle drops Boba Fett Bounty Hunter to Zuckus. So, I mean, that's going to draw... Uh, so it's going to be two Destiny there now, but he can't... Well, he can't battle because he doesn't have anything in his reserve deck. Nope, he'll just pay the upkeep and call it a day. Yeah. And that'll guarantee that he'll get to keep his ship around, and he'll get one more, tain, uh, one more turn of draining in, and that's either going to force Obi to move over in front of the Emperor to block mm-hmm. that drain of three, or Kyle will just get to peel a few more cards off the haze. Yeah. So this is just uh, yeah, trying to grind out a couple extra cards if he can. Yeah, yeah so Hayes, Hayes didn't seem to have any, um, like, he doesn't have General Leia. He doesn't have like there's there's a much less uh, there's much less retrieval. Oops. Than you might say out of like yeah internet. he can't he can't do oh. this. <laughs> and that sense is all lost interrupt anyway. So that's still... yeah. Uh, I wonder if we will get a revert on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where Kyle gets a revert. <laughs> you get one. Everybody gets one. Spider Man rules. Hayes is offering the revert. Yeah. So we're Glenn's now in our game as well. Okay, Kyle's saying no to the revert. Okay. Eleven total, seven in life force for Kyle, and uh, seven, seventeen down, and twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say Hayes should win this by fifteen, maybe sixteen. Yeah, not not an insurmountable lead, certainly, but mm. an uphill one. And it looks like Matt Wadden wins game one in the other matchup by nine. EBO's victory, yeah. it's That's a rough matchup for ISB. Really is. Yeah, yeah that's... Nine is, uh, nine's good. Nine, nine is certainly uh, mm-hmm. manageable for game two. Okay, Hazel activates everything but one. Interesting. So, Which is that rescue. Yeah, and... Probably not going to battle up in space uh, unless he can drop some more forfeit down. Okay, force push and force lightning. <laughs> There's that force lightning. Mm-hmm. So it was just one of the buried force. Mm-hmm. And a second turn. U3PO goes. Yeah, oh, double lost. U3PO. Double U3PO and double hidden weapons. That's not surprising. It's pretty easy to put Haze on throne room for uh, for light side today. So, wow. So fun fact: uh, Matt got monocked after pulling stuff with a new secret base, and not only did he not quit, but he still got EBO out on that turn. Who? <laughs> nice. Okay, so Jin comes down to block the drain at the JCC. Yeah, there's no reason to keep the uh, Obi Wan down. Like that, I mean the the Force Lightning's lost, so that makes sense. It's a good play. And that's maybe what he was waiting for. Yeah. So he'll block that drain. He'll take two damage plus one ping, which is basically the three cards in his hand. Mm-hmm. And uh, retrieve one with Walkling, and then. Yeah. Call it a day. Drain back for four. Yep. It's not quite, it's not quite enough to finish Kyle off, though. Yeah. Kyle could squeeze out one more turn of extra damage. Hayes mm-hmm. might have to consider um, 
battling in space. I know he doesn't want to, but we're moving guys over to block IG and Bosk. You said uh, Matt won by nine. That's what it looked like. I think that's what it was. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see the numbers sometimes, on, uh, especially on the phone. Can't really zoom in. Okay. Update our scroll. So he's just making sure that that is the rescue, which I think it should be. Oh. So Jedi, Jedi Levitation. Levitation. Yep, there's no secret plans or anything out, so I mean, it's only going to be three. Who will he get back? Ahsoka? Yeah. Yeah. You uh, can deploy her and battle with a five and clear out. Maybe that Balati goes for five. Uh, well, oh. if, he, if he battles at the uplink station, uh, oh, the five... Guys. Well, the five will clear Bosk, so uh, which, which takes him off of three battlegrounds. Mm -hmm. To answer, so Bastion asks in the chat: uh, Hayes did not retrieve with the sewers yet. Also, be a reason to battle in space. Lose Han and then retrieve him, and then shuttle up Cornhorn or Ray or something like that. Yeah, that's a. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, uh, also, you can't. Yeah, shuttle. You can't shuttle up Cornhorn or Ray since they're at an interior yeah. site currently. Right, you have to move out first, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and or moving out and losing Corn Horn, who is also a Corellian, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and then retrieve him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Katana's going to come down against the Vigo and Balatik. Yeah. Uh, Bastion, to answer your question, no, uh, neither player has used their sewers game text in this game at all. Yeah. Which I'm surprised Hayes didn't. Hayes may just be trying to cover up here to cover all the, the drains, you know. He's not really threatened uh, by... I mean, he can obviously battle, clear one of the guys out. I'm going to say this. Uh, yeah. The fact that uh, Bastion just had to, uh, did not remember that the sewers is indoors makes me be uh, happier as a player that even a three-time <laughs> world champion can make mistakes. I do wonder if Decipher had it to do over again, if like interior sites would have a different border of some sort. Mm. He's not battling. Interesting. Yeah, it felt like that yeah. five is a pretty good battle, but I think you're probably right. He's I mean, probably that would have block all the drains. I mean, that the mm -hmm. five would have only gotten rid of the Balatique, guaranteed. Well, yeah. what I what I mean is, if he had bat if he had battled against uh, Bosk and IG88, the five would have cleared Bosk. True. And uh, Ahsoka's at no risk of being captured from my GD because she's immune to permanent weapons. So, yeah, that's a good point. And because Bosco only has three ability, he's still only drawing one destiny, so not going to clear Ahsoka very likely. But no, no that so obviously he may he may end up peeling a couple of cards there. Yeah, yeah, possibility so, of having I mean, to lose something. Kyle's damage, not so. doing any damage except for the ping damage this turn. And yeah. that's and, what I think Hayes was trying to cover up for. Yeah. And the other thing is, I mean. The bigger issue is the ping damage is going to take another force out of Kyle's life force. So, yeah, do you, do you yeah, really want the, to do a ping? I mean, yeah, so this, yeah, is the, it's gonna... this is the trouble with leaning on the ping at this stage of the game. Is at, at this point, it becomes a one damage to both of you, which is mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and Hayes is only going to lose the force from his hand. So, in reality, yeah. he's not losing anything this from his where, life force. This is where Kyle just, yeah, he'll do the ping damage to draw. Yeah, and I mean Hayes can. Start putting cards back. Oh. He can. <laughs> oh, but now open. grabbing there means he can't draw up. Nope, but he takes on the life force away. So yeah, yeah. He'll do a ping. He'll lose the other card from hand. He'll walkling something back and. Yep. Second pad, man. There's a second pad, man. Uh, he could suicide himself. Uh, no, we're in a move phase. Never mind. Uh, yeah. So he'll just draw up here. Uh, he can actually activate and wipe. 
and then oh, the shadows and kill himself. Yeah. Or he could lose from Bubba Fett, or he could he could have lost two force from Bubba Fett to put him back in his deck. It's true, and that I mean, and that, that and he would have that to lose the two the first. No, no, he would have to lose the two for, for, force first, lose it from the uh, the life uh, mm-hmm. from his life force, and then game's end. Right, yeah, so would have saved would've, the walk link. Yeah, would have saved the death. We'll see if that matters in game two. This is where okay. he's just battles everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Battle in space. Where do you start? <laughs> yeah, and that's going to do it, though. Uh, you start in space, so you can forfeit solo <laughs> and then try and retrieve him, too. Oh, God. Yeah. This is brutal. Kyle's going to lose from hand. Okay. I'm not sure I agree with this, just because it puts more cards in your loss pile. For match play for game two? Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's... It's not like you're going to get any extra damage and on an upcoming turn. And as we saw against uh, Justin and uh, Justin Desai, uh, <laughs> lost piles matter. I wasn't going to mention it. That was almost the same matchup. Almost the same matchup, too. <laughs> Oh, lost pile counts. Yeah, those could really matter in match play, right, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I lost in the first round. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'd have to imagine that since the game is still continuing here past the drains, that... Uh... No real reason not to battle in space here. Mm-hmm. You, you kind of have to at this point. And, uh, you know, that's going to give yeah. Hayes he's, more outs. It's going to put more yeah. cards in Kyle's he's lost pile. and Giving you an extra differential. Uh, you may as well take it. wonder if it's all a ruse. Kyle's just setting him up, giving him hope. He's going to get one more dip, and he's just going to decline to draw battle less than Peel. He could obviously do that. Not draw and just peel the top card and call it a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, there's the second never yarn and all that would have been good a while back. Zoinks. Yep. Now he's going to add it. There goes Solo. And I don't know if Kyle didn't see it or Kyle just doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think just Kyle doesn't care at this point. Could be a thing too, where uh, if he knows what the matchups are for round two, he might already be like eighteen, nineteen. It doesn't. You know, yeah, he, it doesn't he might. Yeah, he might have might already have thought he needed to win this one or lose it by like five. Mm. Hayes is just having fun at this point. <laughs> Hayes is just trying. To, Hayes is just trying to end the game any way he can. Kyle's the one who's not uh, letting him do it. So. Well, I mean, if he shoots, have, so if he shoots Bosk at this point, does the battle uh, the end? battle would just end? Yeah. yeah. Although, if he shoots IG88, the battle will also just end. Because no. then there will not then there will not be an uh, there will not be a non alien against oh, Leia. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 Hayes is saved from himself by missing there. <laughs> Overkill. I think you got him. Oh, there's the Qui-Gon. Yeah, I don't see any way for Hayes to put more cards back into his life force. He's got no cards in hand. He's got... Well, he already got two extra. Yeah. Because yeah. Kyle did suicide himself out with the Boba Fett. So it looks like Hayes is going to win by 19. Oof. So good on Hayes getting finding ways to get two extra cards out, and uh, you know Kyle can hopefully come back in game two, and we'll see how much it uh, makes a difference. Those two differential. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, actually, you know what? Kyle still has. He can still. He's still he alive after still, this battle. He's still going to survive this battle, but he will not be on three battlegrounds to cause the ping now. Yeah. And he doesn't have a site to drain out, so he can't actually. He can't actually do the one more damage anyway. 
So you should just. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Kyle will not go silently into the night. (laughs) Right. This could obviously be a thing where Kyle's just screwing with him. Like, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I mean, they are teammates. So, oh my gosh. Uh (laughs) Okay. It's it's grabbed. Oh no. (laughs) I can actually hear them both laughing in my head. Yeah. If you spend any time around them, you know they're pretty, uh, pretty distinctive laughs. So, I feel like the only other option here is that Kyle has planned this to where he's going to call Comcast now and have his internet cut for eighteen minutes. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, so I just there's the end. There's the end. So okay, all right. Hayes wins game one by nineteen. Okay. And we'll see how long of a break they take before game two, and what our matchups will be in that. Hayes with eighteen, Kyle with forty, and lost pile. Yeah, yeah. Kyle added like seven cards to his lost pile. Probably like, not going to make a difference, but hey, you never know. Seven to Lost Pile and also two in Death, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It looks like they've started game number two in the other matchup. Okay, Matt so... Lawton playing ISB against uh, Jared's No Idea. Hmm. Okay, the so it's like spy these players will be not... taking a five-minute break. So the spy versus spy matchup was not very good for ISB before slip sliding away, but after set twelve, I don't know. I haven't yeah. played it much. So let's so go. It, let's just jump into this game really quick. So it looks like he's starting the. Uh, looks like Matt Wadden is playing ISB with the force clearing start. That's uh, something that a lot of people have been playing, especially with like Joe Olson has like gotten into that one. Uh, so I'm going to take a two minute break. Uh, you guys want to talk about this one? I'll be back in like two minutes. So sure. what you got to do, close the door or at least speak yourself. <laughs> you don't want any repeats of the, uh, Tennessee Titans draft room. I didn't watch, but I can imagine. Well, they drafted from they drafted from Mike Vrabel's house, and oh. uh, in the background, you can catch a reflection off the mirror of somebody in his house sitting on the toilet with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> uh, and like nine million people watch that live, and we're just like, I can't, I can't imagine being that guy. So. The crush the rebellion start is interesting out of ISB here. I I agree. I, it's almost like if he was expecting step of mains or. I mean, uh, you're not really expecting a lot of duplicates that you get, like a monarch, and maybe he's just doing it to limit his hand size from him drawing too much. But yeah, like no idea, no idea might run multiple. Like you might be able to catch multiple rebel trooper reinforcements, but other than that, yeah, they're not really running multiples of anything. Right, maybe an interrupt or two, but uh, yeah, it's probably not worth spending a starting slot on. I would think. No, I would assume he doesn't even... have anything else. To start yeah, instead. Like, I would assume he must have assumed must have assumed mains and to the degree where he did not have an alternate interrupt or an alternate starting effect. Right. If he's expecting like a throne room or something like that where he needed to protect against clash and Yeah. So just a lot of activation on turn one for both of them. Yeah, they both just pulled some locations and kind of said go. And I would think that that's kind of the thing here. I mean, dark side stuff is a little more expensive to get out. But uh, obviously they're going to both have 20 plus characters. Yeah. So nobody wanting to give up to too much early ground. Dark side can also mitigate that with the Moff Gideon to the square, Mm -hmm. which I've seen a fair bit. 
depends a lot on the exact build of ISP. Because there's a number of different ways that you can you can construct it now. Yeah. I wonder if the crush the rebellion could be indicative of this being a, a promotion garrison build. Because clash is one of the one of the ways that that can right. backfire quite badly. Yes. Veers oh, V Veers. would yeah. Veers V would suggest maybe not. Um, He's got a leader by game text, and he should, all these guys are leaders, so. Uh... That's true. Oh, well, there's the garrison, so. Mm -hmm. He's just going to stack the uh, interior site, protect the Stardust from getting going anywhere. This is a drain plus one because of the garrison. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Uh... Welcome. Yeah, it's a drain ISP plus also, one. I mean, well, ISP is also also a deck that can ignore the uh, deploy penalty or the the increased deploy cost for no idea if they're playing this build because their characters are going to be all Imperials and Spies pretty much. Dan yeah, trying to get his pet on stream. Oh. It's my roommate's dog, and she's all looking lonely. I'm the only one home right now, so. Gotcha. I do like this pattern of this uh, uh, this this play decisions by uh by JJD since um by only leaving the scare by only leaving the the data vault there, uh, it kind of left uh. Kind of left Matt with only the option to deploy out to to the data vault, which mm -hmm. since he already started decree, uh, the stardust the stardust damage is a lot less important to no idea in that situation. So he's mm -hmm. kind of forced him to commit to a site where he was already not super incentivized to go anyway. Okay. Right. I'm gonna check back and see. Yeah, now we play the beach. Now we stack up the beach and maybe pull a pull a ship and flip threaten. Three damage to two damage, and not have to pay for it. Yeah, I mean it's easier retrieval for Matt though. I mean he only needs to get one more ISB agent on the field. True. Mm. And his, I, be his I believe his definitely more expensive though. Yeah, I, I believe Saw will protect the drain at the beach from being mm -hmm. reduced, but I don't. Mm. I think there's a way that no idea typically plays that would prevent them from having their drain at the system reduced. So then it would be mm, just two no. to two. So. Yeah. I, mean, I think if you're Matt, you're okay with that. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, I mean, Matt could come down, or JJD could come down and start putting guys at the forest clearing because it is a drain of two there. It's true. Oh. Okay. He's gonna, looks like he's going to fight. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I don't like the play now to play the Imperial Command because Veers is a general and he could have gotten a, a second destiny. I mean, one would, have, like, one would assume the Saw would just cancel that. And I mm. don't know that ISB is likely to play a lot of interrupts that would Otherwise, net a cancel from Saw. Now, the other the other thing I don't like that Matt's doing is he played the Imperial Arrest Order combo and not the not the non combo. Uh, that may I mean the non combo would have made Evax forfeit seven, whereas this one it only makes him a six. Same thing with Van and Willard. Uh, not yeah. Van and Willard, uh, Colonel Wolf. Yeah, they both go yeah, from sixes I... to sevens. I agree my default would be to play non-combo in ISB, since ISB mm -hmm. naturally plays a lot of ability to Imperials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. JGD is well, just is, stacking. So this is he's certainly gonna get, what no idea can do. With yeah, he's going to get nine activation, still two four. Destiny. <laughs> two Destiny, a Destiny to either power or attrition, and the attrition is going to be plus four. 
yeah, it's I think very likely going to be a testing to attrition. Yeah. So. Yep. And that then Mike, uh, on, that's going to do a lot of damage to Matt. Well, and on on Jared's side, he likely just forfeits Taidu. Mm -hmm. Or actually, at this point, probably forfeits Ensign Chad. Well, um, Ensign Chad's only forfeit five, so perhaps not. Yeah. But. And there's two Destiny by Dark Side as well. Now, granted, yeah. they both have 20 characters in their deck, so they could draw a whole bunch of low Destinies here and not really have to lose a whole lot. But Yeah. Uh, Chad will also add a Destiny to power, so... Jeez. Could, it, could even be two destinies to power, maybe, depending on how much he wants to win the battle. I think destiny to attrition. Yeah, I think destiny to attrition is the better one. Absolutely. Because you're getting plus four. Uh, it could take an Vader Monarch, or so he's going to take the Vader Monarch. To, to get the two destiny out of his deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got Chad adding to power, Leia adding to attrition, and they're both drawing two battle destiny here. Yeah. I still. I still want to see somebody uh, play Ensign know... Chad and a Destiny with, uh, with, while he's with Finn. Jeez. Because okay. that would be funny. <laughs> oh! oh. <double> agent. <laughs> oh, he doesn't draw high enough. That one yes. will miss. <laughs> uh, he can cancel that with Hera. Yep, he's going to redraw it. Here. Oh, oh no! Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> uh, do we know if the other players have started yet? They, um, going back to the game. game. No. Okay. Uh, they have oh. prepared, so they they are, but they are both in the game now. So they're queuing okay. up their table. So we'll get back. We'll jump over to that one here in a second. I want to see the end of this battle because this is a big oh. one. Okay, three. So eighteen to fifteen, and here we go with the destinies. The battle destinies. These are the important ones. Okay, so JDG is not going to be able to retrieve. No. But he does draw a two and a five, so seven. Which is he's going to get two characters. Yeah. Versus a one. That's a bad start for Matt. That's a really bad start for Matt. That uh, is just probably going to be Anson Chad. Uh, and then there's still a Destiny to Attrition. Oh, oh no. Oh. Uh, it's going to be Evax and Colonel Wolf. They'll cover 12. Uh, yeah, the that's, attrition but is, that's, then he needs four more. 16, right. That's three right. characters. That's, three that's characters. everybody that's but the garrison? Yeah. Basically. Oh. That did Certainly. not go well. That did not go well for Matt. For, for Jared, so... But the I'll beneficial, the, the benefit for Matt though is all four of those guys, or all three of those guys, are ISP Asians, so you could retrieve them. Well, but he's got to start over now. He has no, and there's no yeah. agents. Okay, so let's jump over to the Hayes and Kyle came. Oh, uh, look, it's a, it's a the same. exact mirror. It's well, a mirror, not the, but not the exact mirror. Um, Hayes is starting the um, quietly, quietly observing, observing B, which we've been seeing a lot of. And crush, uh, so he's he's, crush he's not playing down. wipe. Uh, the other thing is he doesn't have imp decree out, so no. So if he plays any senses, he's going to lose to that. Uh, again, Hayes doesn't he doesn't have the uh, according to my design, so no emperor starting, uh, and he does have to play the fanfare to get the Zizor's bounty. So and he revealed Mara with lightsaber and mm. Thrawn. As yeah. his extra agents. Okay, so it's gonna so. be this is gonna be a good one. Uh, Kyle's down by nineteen. I mean, this is a matchup that you have the possibility of winning by nineteen, but and let's see what kind of activation Kyle gets for, for yeah. turn one. Yeah, it ended up kind of being a wash for Hayes in game one since his turn mm -hmm. one activation was quite bad, but his turn two, he got everything. So, yeah, floating the wipe, uh, I think, is or or not playing at all, or not playing it at all, is a, I think, pretty common choice if you are running the crush and not mm -hmm. always starting it um 
So I guess floating the wipe if you're not always starting the crush and only playing it against decks that would run a clash. Um, yeah. The other alternative is Crush the Rebellion was a comp. Crush, Crush the Rebellion is what I started with Agents of the Black Senate Endor and was a pretty common start choice because it frees up a it it costs a few deck slots because you have to run the Evader Monarch, but it opens it up a bit because you can freely use it to check your force pile on turn one to make sure of what's active and what's not so that you know if you need to just draw up for the Vigo or if you need to mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. spend force to find your square or, or whatever it is. Right. Um, and generally don't have to give up a, um, a verify. Okay, Although so I I have, I've activated my Vader on turn one, so, you know. <laughs> Kyle was able to get out both of his docking bays. He placed the Wise of Ice Shield. So that tells me that he doesn't have any senses. Well, he might not have um, any senses in his deck, but he's no, weary he of no. senses. Yeah, so the Wise of Ice Shield would actually suggest that he is playing his own senses. He would play do or do not to cause the force loss if he wasn't, yeah. but because he is himself and doesn't want to get damaged, mm-hmm. he's going to play the wise advice. So when they get into a sense battle, all his stuff will just end up in the used pile. Yeah, that's fair. Curious to see. As we were talking about the breakdown, you know, it's like Rescue in the Clouds is another one that is uh, um, very commonly played. Mm-hmm. Uh, not as much per deck, but it is the most commonly pl- it was the most commonly played card in the day one FPC decks. Which one? I guess that's probably about uh, two point three. Rescue, Rescue in the Clouds. Ah, there were a hundred and thirteen over all over all the decks. So just under two. Okay. Uh, yeah, out of 51 decks. 51. Oh, you mean got it was Palace in hand. Okay. You mean it was in 51 decks, or it, it was in, it was in 51 out of 64 decks, and there were 113 total copies. So yeah. Okay, so just over two. Yeah. Yeah. Just over two yeah. copies per deck. That makes sense. I mean, it's a really good card, and it's a good universally used five that uh, happens to work. Two other functions. Yeah. Although close call being played less and less these days. Yep. Well, now, I mean, with the ASM revival as well as Cloud City coming back, I mean, its other yeah. function is pretty good. <laughs> there, are, there are a number of mobile locations being played these days between a stunning move, hunt down, Cloud yeah. City decks, even the occasional Death Star docking bay. It's also unlikely to come up in this particular game, but uh, one kind of rules quirk with Rescue that I discovered, or not discovered, but had come up in a game, is if you only have two cards in reserve, you Mm. get to see them and be order when you play Rescue. You don't get to put any in your hand, but you then get to know that you have a six on top when you play Under Attack, if you only have two cards in reserve. Hmm. Yeah, because you don't complete the action, so therefore you don't shuffle, which I think is really weird, but... That's just I, the way that it's written. I agree. Um, yeah. My, my opponent was not happy that's how it worked out. But oh, Was this game one or two? Uh, it was, was not an NPC. It was, in I think, an OCS game. Uh, yes, get your OCS games in. Oh, it and is the 25th. Uh, oh, also, the do or do not shield. So now we're thinking Kyle does not have any senses, and he wants to save all his own cards because he obviously needs to keep his diff higher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure you're supposed to see them there. That might be a Gimp bug uh, from Cal, but we're not sure. So uh, From Rescue? Yeah. Uh, no, well, Rescue's worded peak at the top three cards. So you right. start peaking, and then when you can't get to the third, you stop. So you are supposed to be able to see them, is my understanding. Yeah, I think this only comes into play with one or two cards in your li- in your reserve deck. Yes, uh, you, you can do the same thing uh, in court with Lady Proxima. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I think it's a rule that once the uh, three cards are revealed, then you get to do the other part of it. Yeah, they're separate sentences, so they're separate mechanics or timing. It's do A, then B, then C. And when you get to the end of A and you failed... You don't complete the rest of the action. Hayes does move the prince over. By himself. Yeah. I mean, he knows he, he has... Kyle's only oh, getting he has seven. The, he's and he dis- has the bounty in hand. Yeah. So 
And it's unlikely too. That there's too much to punish him here. Um, he's Solo also incentivized. Jim. I mean, he's also incentivized to move over since uh, um, Kyle is shield busted here, so there will not likely be a battle plan unless there's mm-hmm. unless there's an interrupt to add one. But yeah, like if you got if he drops down like a a, a Jin and a Solo, they would they would be able to do some damage. Uh, I mean, you still have to crack the immunity to five, which is not impossible, certainly mm-hmm. out of out of throne room. But I mean, running running Jin and Solo in and drawing a four would be a disaster. True. Yeah. Like that that could that could certainly be a way that uh, that the the match could end very quickly. And then we switch over to uh, the other match. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's Luke or nothing here, basically for for Kyle, and he's obviously going to get yeah. the same bounty treatment that uh, Hayes had. Now, if game. he's if he's got the control, well, is it the Zynosaurus bounty? Is it immune to control or no? It is it, not. It is immune not. To control. Okay. Uh, so control, if he's... control and tunnel vision is not uh, certainly not impossible out of yeah. certain means. Uh, it's not a popular card, but if you have no. a Yoda who can pull it, <laughs> yeah, it, very few decks run that these days. Yeah, it's not common. I was gonna say, I think I run. See it as a one-off, but watch your step and whap. Okay, so there's the a ray. Time. Okay. Yeah, watch your step is certainly going to be running multiple control tunnel visions, so this would be a very dangerous play against watch your step. But right. Now you've got the possibility here with Hayes has got to think. Ray can get a matching weapon. She, even though she won't get destiny, she could still hit him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, trading Ray and Saber for Zizor. Uh, yeah, that's that's a fairly even trade, actually. Given given the situation that, uh, well, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Ray and Saber, the retreat, r- Ray Saber, retrieve the Saber with Walkling. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's only activating seven. He can't give up Walkling. Yeah. I do um I do like here uh I presume that we are waiting on Kyle to decide on a oh nope I'm wrong. Case is gonna use the bounty here. Okay. I don't see if uh, he can dig out some extra activation yeah. out of those four cards. I was gonna say often what I what I like to do with bounty and barrier and stuff in that spot is you can let Ray use her use pop hole first. Mm-hmm. And then after the use pop hole still use bounty. Okay. And here's the JCC. With bounty it's a little less relevant because they know you have bounty. So. I mean he right. still could drop down like an Anakin, pull the saber, fight with Anakin. I mean the other difficult thing here is as you were saying in the previous version of this matchup, light side has a lot of potential. Uh, uh, oh, there's oh, a lay. No. They're both playing oh, Leia V. No. Again, being on the same team. Well, and this is a disastrous matchup. Now here. the prince doesn't even draw. Yeah, the prince no. doesn't draw, and Leia does. Yeah, Leia's ability four. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's just gonna have a bad time here. I guess the saving gra- the saving grace is that Zizor is still covering eleven total. Right, he's just going to so, lose that guy, yeah. and that's going to be the end of it. And yeah. the other advantage too, of course, is Kyle being shield busted can't pull the weapons display shield to cause the extra force loss. Yeah, yeah. So while this is not good for Hayes, it's not a total disaster. Nope. Um, it could be far worse. There could be a Vigo here also, and then that would be like pretty bad <laughs> right. for, with the blaster rifle, <laughs> but. Uh, and, you know, obviously he still has the palace, the sewer text, to just yeah. exchange anybody to get the prince right back and then put the prince right back down at the sewer and reflip awesome. his objective. Somebody's, somebody's got to tell Jerry that this just happened, that Leia just uh, just canceled Zizzer's text. <laughs> I'm on it. Was this a, uh, a topic on the, a recent Hollis Theater show? No, it's just late. I mean... Uh, uh, Jerry and I are both big fans of Leia V. Um, mm-hmm. The, I mean, Destiny canceling and also just being a solid tech card against Senate. Uh, it's all, all quite good. 
Uh, Kyle's asking if it's a gamp bug to let him do it again. Yes, Leia still lights up. You just can't actually can't actually cancel twice. So not relevant here, but relevant that you can't just like machine gun cancel all of your opponent's leader's hex with Leia. You can only get one. Yeah. So the prince goes away. The objective flips back. And uh, that is actually the site where Leia will uh, negate the drain minus one bonus as well. So, mm -hmm. yep. or penalty. So uh, all in all, that was really good for uh, Kyle. Yeah, that was a quite that was quite a good turn. It was a good turn for Kyle. He got his activation up a little bit, but, you know, at the end of the day, all he really did was kill a guy that can easily get retrieved. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but he I mean, that leave, also saves him a ping. He did leave himself in a position where uh, it's somewhat incumbent upon Hayes now to pull battle plan. Or battle mm -hmm. order, I suppose. Yes. Which, when Darkseid is the deck that starts with a character on table, it can easily move to a battleground. Uh, it's, I, that's a solid, a solid tempo, tempo bonus. <laughs> Send Jerry a picture of it. His response, my fave. I've I've grown to be a little bit win more. I like uh, Princess Leia V pulling Leia of Alderaan V because mm -hmm. that does this that does the same thing, but she can pilot and add a destiny on Hanchu the Falcon V. Was the uh, light side the version of Chris Menzel's light side Senate deck from Euros that I played at the uh, Colorado League event, um, running Hanchu the Falcon V with. Korox Rider and Princess Leia V to draw multiple destinies in space and not let your opponent do so. So we need to virtualize every persona of Leia. <laughs> Princess Organa and uh, Princess Leia Organa are the the two the leftovers. Two right? Yeah. Well, I mean, daughter, daughter of Skywalker... Uh... I mean, Daughter Skywalker needs to be virtualized herself. in a way where, where the, the virtual version is actually better than the non-virtual version, as opposed to being worse. You retrieve Every time you complete a Jedi test, you can retrieve uh, three cards. Boom. Immune to coward. Immune to I mean, coward. I, would, I would kind of rather Daughter of Skywalker just be just do something else. Just like... Yeah. Something, something that benefits Rebel Strike Team, maybe. Like, I was just thinking that. There you go. That's true. Or the benefits oh. Ewoks. Why not? What? Oh, hey, there you go. He digs out no escape with the bounty. Yep. Or okay. possibly something else, but uh, he'll pick that right back up. He missed the sight pull. I would be surprised if no escape was what he pulled with the bounty, given that he can trade any alien for... Yeah. Silver. Seems unlikely. I guess he might want to save that text, given that he can no escape to just get Zizzer here. Okay. okay. Now, Mar probably going to... Probably going to take out both these characters. That seems pretty likely. Well, I mean, he could fire with Leia's rifle. So, do you yeah. go after the Leia or do you go after the Ray? That's the question. I think you go after. I think you go I'm, after. If you go after the, I'm, if you have a, like a sar, if you have a way to get rid of, uh, rid of Leia, you go after the Leia. But I doubt he's going to have anything in his hand. I don't see any like sniper dark combos in this deck. Maybe because he's playing Mara, but yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be it wouldn't be common to see something like that out of out of right. the Black Sun. Yeah, you got Mara and Aura really with the only characters with weapons. Yeah, P I would think it. IG, I, would, I mean, I, I, well, IG eighty eight is not going to trigger off Cypher Dark Strike. Uh, I no, would, well, I would say more likely if you were going to do that, your two aliens would be Mara Doctory combo. Yeah. Um, Thrawn, Thrawn's actually Thrawn is a great choice with quite, uh, quietly observing yeah. in this deck. Yeah, stacking, so stacking him, yeah, yeah, stick, stacking him in space so that your opponent can't freely move around Coruscants is a big deal. Yeah, keep pinging him for one extra ping a turn, and it will add up over five or six turns. Yeah, and now interestingly, too, both of these characters are ability four, so they are not protected yeah. from blaster deflection. 
Oh, oh he's interesting. Not uh, yeah, he just. So then, yes, uh, the likelihood now that uh, Hayes is going to be able to get rid of the uh, both of these characters is pretty good. And that means he's also going to be able to uh, if he gets rid of the ray, he's going to be able to retrieve the prepared defenses. But more importantly, he's going to see what is in Kyle's hand. Well, I think actually the more likely the more likely way this would pan out is he will forfeit Mara and then retrieve Mara with Scissor's Bounty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's no there's no real way that he's not going to. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> Weaponless. Wow. <laughs> he stole the gun anyway. Maybe so, Kyle knew that. Maybe now Kyle he could the list and was like, "It's gonna." Uh, happen. So yeah. now he can actually shoot and hit. He can fire the lightsaber, hit one. Shoot. Uh, he can only he can only use one weapon. So uh, you know, he yeah, yeah. Dashing my hopes and dreams. Him, so. Yeah. yeah. So clear both. Yeah, he'll he'll clear both by hitting Ray. He'll probably he would probably have cleared both by hitting. Ray. So, but this I mean, way Ray does have some it. immunity. Yeah, it's only three, Token but still. Yeah. And you know, he just drew two cards that their printed destiny numbers are twos. Uh, luckily, quietly observing added to, yeah. to make it a four. Otherwise, he misses there. And there's a four. So, <laughs> and there's a third card that was naturally a destiny two. Draws a four back. Okay, so yeah, we're going to see everything get cleared, but... Everybody dies, and most importantly, the gun is now in the dark side lost pile. Yeah. Wow. So, as amusing as that line of play was, I almost kind of, I almost feel like that was not the best use of weapon Because no. the, Leia's, the Leia's gun wasn't going to do anything here. It, and the, it would, if it could eventually, because you got to think eventually. that the I mean, okay, being that these players are two play, uh, teammates, the likelihood of Kyle running a second Leia is still pretty good, and sure. he could easily place Walkling out of play to retrieve it. Sure, it definitely my... has a higher comedy value than it does uh, yeah. gameplay yeah. value because yes, it's unlikely that he's going to get that card back to redeploy on another Leia later, and certainly Hayes isn't going to be able to use it, and he'd have much more functionality stealing Luke's lightsaber. Yeah, that's that was my thought. Is stealing Luke's lightsaber? Luke's lightsaber seems like a much more yeah. a much higher impact play if you have the weapon level already. But. I, I... Eric, I'm just saying he would, he wouldn't, I didn't say he would do that, I'm saying he could. Right. And then we see the Emperor move over yeah. after he gets a peek at Kyle's hand with the bounty. Yeah, so he knows that, I mean, the Emperor, if he, the, the only reason he does that is he knows that the Emperor is pretty much safe now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since Kyle is shield busted, there's no threat of mm -hmm. simple tricks, so. Right. And there's right. no threat of battle plan, so this drain of three is probably just going to happen. Barring a uh, Miracle Yoda getting pulled out of the reserve deck, which uh, very few light side decks run these days. Yeah. Man, then we could have uh, Yoda against the Emperor, just like the movies. <laughs> Although they would have to, they'd have to fight the Senate to, to yeah. really... Yeah. And then they would then they would both die. So anyway, it all breaks down once you apply logic. Who has logic at this point? Yeah. So certainly in a compa in comparison between matchup, uh, Kyle's oh, draw has been, I think, a fair bit worse than Hayes's was. So Hayes. I was gonna say Hayes saw that. Kyle had a Luke in his hand. Unless he just drew it with the th after playing 3PO. I mean, getting your opponent to put Luke at the Jedi Council Chamber is kind of fine here, because you have Zizzer in hand, so if Luke is trapped mm. like three sites away from a battleground, yeah. like, that's, yeah. that's kind of good for you. Especially that's if you true. have a Gick or something, so that you're not going to actually take overflow if he comes and fights the Emperor. Like, 
I, I think I think moving the Emperor over there with, with no a uh, known Luke in hand is probably fine. Also, he only had ten force activations, so he couldn't like play Luke and Hera or something like that. Like mm-hmm. it, it it'd be hard to generate a beatdown force that'll actually do a, t- a whole lot of damage over the Emperor, even even without a gig. So the one, one play pattern difference with the start here for Hayes is that without wipe, uh, you do have to manage your uh mm-hmm. manage your force a little bit more carefully yeah definitely because you don't have you don't have the free one that you get every turn on your opponent's turn to be able to threaten things like Rito and grabber and stuff like that so yeah it's definitely a play style adjustment i've uh yeah been working with that myself with the uh the quietly observing in court the mm-hmm. debate between what do you swap out do you swap out wipe or do you swap out the battle plan first strike combo yeah yeah and i i I think in that matchup, I I like switching out the the wipe just because battle plan. It just saves you so much force in the long run. Instead of paying three to three to battle, you're only paying two. I mean, you're, you're only paying two even when you retrieve. So I don't know. And the ability to make your opponent use force to play their interrupts on your, the battles that you initiate, that's pretty good. Yeah, the battle plan usually, combo feels, feels I, really important for court. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I what mean, I default to, but I get talked at. My teammates try and talk me out of that, saying how important wipe is, but yeah. I'm in the I mean, I mean, I can see it both All ways. I mean, I've seen yeah. people float like Jabba's Haven. Mm-hmm. But that also depends on the matchup. I mean, if you just want to limit your opponent to one battleground system, you float the Haven so that way. You... Yeah, I, I mean, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Chris, but I think the the quietly observing start in court would be against a deck like Throne Remains. It would be against the light side main stack. So right. then you wouldn't then you wouldn't actually you wouldn't care about limiting their access to a battleground system. You'd actually kind of want to have access to Nalhada so that you can drain for free through battle plan, and they right. can't. Or at least leave the activation because they're not giving you any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I, my feeling is that battle order kind of generates you as generates you force in a similar way that wipe does because you mm-hmm. get to battle for free. Um, yeah. So that my, my instinct would be to float the wipe, uh, but I, I haven't played that match too too much to really be able to say for sure. Mm-hmm. We got a U three PO now blocking the loop drain, and uh, Hayes is going to reload his hand here, so. Yeah. And so Kyle did not pull the saber with Luke last turn, which would nope. suggest it's going to be able to be pulled this turn, but also that he can't crack the U3PO for this drain for for this upcoming control phase. Yeah. yeah. The other possibility, of course, is uh, there's a line of thinking where you don't pull those, the saber for the first Luke because mm. it's, easy, it's easy to kill one Luke. Sure. It's harder to kill a second one. Mm. Sure. So if you only have one lightsaber, you don't pull it until the first loop dies, and they can waste some of their tricks, and then you pull the saber the second time. That makes sense. I'm used to coming at it from the Hitco perspective, where you kind of want Luke to have his lightsaber all the time, and you have two sabers right. anyway. And... Yeah, when you're playing like my father, and Luke's doing when you're pulling weapons for, and you've got two sabers, then that's obviously... Oh. Uh, I mean, if you, if you're thinking about that, though, I mean, technically, if, if Kyle's got Anakin's lightsaber, there's still two lightsabers in the deck for Luke. It's true. Mm-hmm. That's actually a good point too. That he might have been aware. Yeah, he might have been aware that Luke's lightsaber was active and wasn't sure where Anakin's saber was and didn't want to use Saitor mm-hmm. and pull the wrong saber for Luke. Because Luke's lightsaber is certainly better on Luke than Anakin's saber is, and Anakin's saber has multiple hits in a Throne Remains stack now. Yeah, right. So preserving that extra saber pull might might have been a consideration there too. I mean, there is a reason that both these players are playing in the final four. And we're all we're all just sitting here doing commentary on their plays. <laughs> it's easier to be a commentator than it is actually to be a player. That is one hundred percent accurate. Armchair quarterbacking is uh, definitely a thing. I mean, look at Tony Romo. I mean, the dude's like the highest paid commentator out there. I mean. Uh, Goglin was certainly closer than you or I were to, to being able to play in one of these games. So, Well, there's a reason Chris Goglin is a Hall... Uh, I refer to Chris Goglin as Hall of Famer Chris Goglin. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep. I forgot to pull a weapons display shield before I battled. That's the difference. And I realized that as soon as I clicked the, the button to pass to my yep. battle phase, it was like, ah, I can't go back, can I? And no. No. You three people are not wanting to get left behind here. Oh, I, I, Eric, I agree. Tony Roman is an excellent commentator. But what has he done as a quarterback? He did. Uh, you know what? He did actually. Did he win them a playoff game or no? He won them a playoff game. He won them. He went to the Pro Bowl a couple times. You know, had some good stats. Well, I'm uh, saying like a solid fantasy for quarterback and whatnot. But yeah, was that was he? I know he was the quarterback during the time of where the Cowboys didn't win playoff games. So I don't remember mm -hmm. if he actually won them a playoff game or not, or was it Dak? He, he did. He did. Uh, he, okay. Tony won a game before uh, Dak took over. Okay. But I kind of wonder if uh, Kyle and Hayes being teammates here is actually hurting Kyle a little bit. Because know, like, knowing, knowing enough to pull both sense shields has left him now in a spot where he's just going to be eaten a drain of three twice when maybe right. simple tricks could have been a thing. There you uh, go. Or maybe, or maybe a battle plan could have been a thing. Yeah, there we go. It's... That gets him out of it. It was in his fourth pile, and he just went digging. Although, luckily, it was only far enough down to not get monarched. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the important thing. I not think Kyle might have taken that, be okay with that, and then just drawn four more cards. <laughs> mm. Obviously, uh, you know Hayes waits to play until he's done drawing to put as many back as he can, but uh, he'd still find it and get to play it. Sure. Unless it was Maybe. the force he spent yeah, to move Luke. If it was the one card he spent to move Luke, well, then I think he just scoops and says, never mind. I give up. <laughs> Pull the old Matt Wadden. Yeah. Flip a table, yeah, course, give up. Oh, of course, unfor crap. unfortunately, it took it took long enough to do all of that that uh, he is now is, has enough force and cards at hand to potentially be able to just have to buy simple tricks. Yeah. Um, I mean, both of them are now in a position where there can be beatdowns coming from every yeah. direction. So yeah, they, they've they've waited through the early turns. They both have solid hands, decent activation. One or two characters have already kind of hit the table, but now this is turn four, five, six are kind of your bread and butter turns where uh, the game really starts to take shape and space. Mm -hmm. Where I thought Hayes would go first, mm -hmm. stack up the system with at least two ships. Um, he'll pull the uh, the Thrawn, and now he'll start pinging sights to try and get some extra damage through. Yep. Yeah. And it wouldn't surprise me to see uh, like Ellis and Hinthra also back this up. He can't play the Fist because he doesn't have enough Force because he doesn't have any Black Sun agents, if I'm not mistaken. It's only uh, minus three yeah. when you have a Black Sun agent. Yeah. Uh, yes, Black Sun agent and a related site. So. Right. So it would have to be either Zuckus or Ellis. Java Space Gizzer is an excellent innovation in this deck with uh, the quietly observing. Because the trouble with it before this was there just weren't that many, there weren't that many alien leaders that you wanted to play. Those like Balotic and mm -hmm. maybe one or two others, but not not any that were moving the needle a lot uh but being able to put thrawn here or potentially be able to play proxima or something there's a number of options that are quite appealing yeah to add to the space plan out of this deck yeah i'm surprised people haven't used proxima in this deck just because the ability to look at the top three cards of your reserve deck during your control uh control phase and then take an alien it's pretty good i mean i think one of the big things is that uh agents unlike court uh, has a lot of card access with shadows uh, and sometimes mm -hmm. having your objective flip so that you can shadows draw the card that you want uh, mm -hmm. so you don't you don't need the card access with proxima uh, or, or rather you don't you don't benefit from it as much as a deck like court does where the only card access you really have is drawing um yeah so being able, have be, the right being able to characteristics um you can i mean you can you you can choose proxima with quietly 
Sure, you, but if you don't want to burn, you're quietly observing on her. I don't think she has. Uh, no, she she, like she, no, she would not otherwise be, be an eligible Blackstone agent. Right. So. so that's the other consideration, too, is uh, wanting to start, um, what we're wanting to have Thrawn and Mara instead of other options. So Hayes is just going to leave them there, although saving four force could potentially mean a Greedo on the cruiser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greedo, not, Barrier. Yeah. Barrier almost feels more likely because Greedo, unlike in court, is not covering that is not covering as much forfeit. True. Yeah. So so if uh, if Lightside has like Tantive, Solo, Ray, or something like something along those lines, um, mm -hmm. Cruiser could still get cracked even through Greedo. Yeah, but if you can keep the ship there, yeah, and just lose both pilots, they cover ten. Yeah, yeah, but you don't want to really lose the Thrawn, though. There's the mess and, and the, imbalance the imbalance combo. I, can, I, I assume he must be saving the grabber for some sort of use interrupt. Because sorry about the mess combo is a pretty common target to grab out of the main stack. Particularly if you're leaning on the undercover spies the way that uh, agents often is in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want them just soloing it next turn. Yeah, or just playing okay, the second so one that they have or whatever. Yeah, but Tan have come down. Okay, and then there's the ah, barrier. There's a barrier. Yep. So now... Do we have a barrier uh, canceler? Yeah, that's an important part. A bit, he's going to grab the barrier and right. a bit shuffle. Well, that's why maybe another reason Hayes saved so much so we can play a second nope. barrier. Mm, okay, yeah. No barrier canceler. Okay. Uh, so the other thought is if um, if Kyle is running a heavier than usual space package out of TRM. What, Which, like a Poe Dameron? Well, I mean, another, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, another ship. Yeah. Uh, a profundity and a, a Poe, something like that, to get an extra multiple yeah. destiny options. Yeah. It's not the most common, but uh, it's not uncommon to see it, shall we say. Yeah. yeah. That's the one nice thing about Throne Room is you got a lot of different ways you can build the deck. <laughs> I mean, one possibility that I've seen a bit, although not so much out of Throne Room, uh, is it could just be a Hunch, like Hunchui Falcon V could come out here. Yeah. Um, it's true. It's hard to justify giving up Solo in this type of matchup, though. Yeah, typically, I mean, typically what I've seen when, well, there's the Solo, so probably not Hunchui Falcon V. Yeah. Um, <laughs> often what I've said, and the way that I've tried to play it in some of the main sex that I've tried it in is you just play solo really aggressively and sacrifice him early. So you get into fights with Ray and solo and play yeah, your, sorry about that, twice early and lose solo in a battle. And then now that solo's dead, then you play Hunter and the Falcon afterwards. Uh -huh. um, that would, that would be an unusual build of Thurnum though. So probably, well, obviously not what, <laughs> what Kyle's going for now, but mm. So it looks like we're just stacking up in space and kind of setting up for the battle next turn. Possibly. Now, the one thing that well, the one thing that's going to hurt Kyle is Hayes didn't use his uh, Imperial City pooler in this game, so he could potentially use that game text pool a Guri, pull, uh, and then shuttle her up, and that three destiny goes down to one. Yeah, he could that. That's the other great thing about Java Space Cruiser that uh, was kind of missing from the agent stacks uh, before this innovation uh, was the, the common space package you used to run was Ellis, Feline's Fist, and, uh, and Zuckus. But with, with that combination, Feline's Fist was the only capital ships, so was the only option that you had to do the shuttling. But now that you have Java Space Cruiser, you have more choices for that. Mm -hmm. So that kind of thing becomes a more realistic option. Yeah. Pulling Gary here would be quite good. I was going to say, you could always run uh, Bosk in his ship. It's a capital. Yeah. You could. 
if you're running and, quietly observing, oh, actually, no, quietly observing does boost boss yeah, explosion or boss uh, destiny, the bossing in ships destiny because yeah. it's the boss. Um, boss can ship though, as I recall. And it's, it's it's also really good against uh, the new Han and the Falcon. Does add a destiny to attrition? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, well, but so although Boskin Houndstooth V is a capital ship, it does not have any slots for anyone to ride it. So uh, it kind of doesn't, it, it doesn't really serve the purpose that you want out of that. Womp womp. Okay, hey, I'm, I'm just saying, you know what? I, I don't need to know that so. stuff. I just need to know. I'm thinking, trying to think of other capital ships that would be good in this deck. <laughs> okay, so he's uh, checking so his deck. He didn't save the force to retrieve with Lando, but at the same time, uh, Hayes does have a shield pull left and hasn't pulled secret plans yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so he could certainly pull secret plans. That would be a very reasonable choice. Right. If he's going okay. to battle. Yeah. Uh, do we have any updates on the other game? Oh, uh, there we go. That about 15 life force. Yeah, I, I just refreshed it, so... Yeah, unfortunately, Jared I've got has, looks like sixteen to twelve in favor of Matt. Okay, Jared's got board control. Yeah, Jared has board control. Has the Stardust on a spy. There's still a big fight happening at the uh, the data vault. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. Matt get flipped? Uh, both of them are flipped. Well, um, Hayes does not seem happy with his. So battling here probably isn't going to happen. Zuckus, that's interesting. Zuckus is just forfeit fodder here, so a little, a little more power, a little more forfeit. Unless he's got a four long to add a second destiny. Oh, he just has the green hand though. Ooh, okay, all right. Clicked with of the it... ship. Interesting. Oh, that was supposed to go on Zuckus. I want to put her on Zuckus. Zuckus is hmm. forfeit fodder. I don't, unless you have, yeah, you said yeah, it, unless like, he's I, got the four lob, there's no reason to put her on Zuckus. I mean, even unless if you have the, on... even if you have the four lob, I don't know that I would put her on Zuckus. Yeah. Because well, she is I mean, a pilot, right? She has two more power. Oh, uh, okay. There's that. There you go. Okay. She can go sit there as a as a pilot, and uh, you know, give you two more power, and, and you can just lose yeah, he's Thrawn. Got the, he's got the four long. Okay. I don't know. Thrawn's really good in this matchup, and I, he's the one I would actually try and consider keeping the most. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, yeah, I don't normally see. Yeah, because I mean the other. I mean the other problem with all of this here is that. Um, even with all of this forfeit fodder and protection, like Zuckus still doesn't have any immunity. So right. if uh, if Kyle decides to battle, he's going to have to lose something. And every piece up there looks important at the moment. Right. And especially now that, uh, I mean, now that Lando's yeah, text is like... effectively blanked, he can move him to a passenger tan of add like Anakin or something. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're looking at, well, I only get one draw, but it's plus one, plus one for Ray. So. Yeah, he was wondering if, if Hayes, I mean, Hayes has probably gone to battle here for some reason he pulled secret plans, but um, you think yeah. not battling and just sort of sitting back for a turn or two might actually be the better way to go in the long run. I, yeah, that's, I that's what I'm like thinking. It, because there's, it's so hard to imagine that anything is going to happen here besides Lando dying and one of the important characters on Dark Side dying. Mm -hmm. Right, and then the following turn when Light Side battles back into you, now he has to lose Forlom or Guri or the ship. Yeah, and none of those seem like great options. You know, no. losing Thrawn to cover one battle and keeping the other pieces together when you can then battle back on your turn. Yeah, seems a little better. Like make Light Side yeah. battle into you. Yeah. I mean, he does. He could be able to retrieve, uh, exchange the Thrawn with another alien to get him back. 
But yeah, I think you do that on his turn, not your turn. And it looks like that's what he's going to do. He just passes over, saving two force. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To react to Greedo. Yep. Yeah. If necessary. So to get the extra forfeit, possibly not have to lose anything important. Yeah. And if that's the case, then, I mean, would you lose the Greedo or would you lose the Thrawn? Or, the, sorry, the Forlom or the Thrawn? I think you would lose the Thrawn in that case. Yeah. Anything since, over you can, three. since you can get it back, yeah. Yeah. Unless he's got Aphra, in which case he can just drop Aphra and take Forlom right back. But yeah. Yeah. Well, Aphra's going to have a lot to do here, though, because I kind of imagine there's going to be a sorry about that again. Since we have one on top of Lost, then there's a solo in play. Mm -hmm. Or he just plays another one from his hand. I'll be uh, right back. No, that's the oh, one no, he does. Okay, he does play from his. Yeah. Not to get sensed, but that. Sorry about the mess. Still is going to go out of play. I believe. Yes. That's how that works. Yeah. So that's. Wow, draws a six. Oh, is there? They're tracking us. No. Okay. No, it's a never been. urinal. Well, Hayes, I, I, should... I guess I should have battled. Uh, yeah, he could have gotten rid of two characters there. No, they bring back the armor to take it upstairs. We're all straight. What I was thinking is if he, uh, if uh, if uh, Kyle has had a, they're tracking us there to make that SDS oh, seven, so the sense would have failed. God. That would have been hilarious. Um, yeah. Oh, and Hayes loses the Feline's fist from reserve on top of the sense here. So. Now I think that's the important card is that he loses the Feline's fist. I mean, that's the card that keeps him in space. Yeah, it's a lot more incentive now for uh, Kyle to battle. Mm -hmm. It kind of it depends a lot on what Kyle has in hand. Like he he needs to have like another good pilot for the battle to be really good. Yeah, because right now those pilots, I mean, yeah, they had a destiny, but that's that doesn't matter. You, you want somebody who does. You want like an Anakin. You need Anakin. Anakin's the good one. If you have like Anakin, an Anakin, Anakin would be the best one for sure. Anakin and Ray would be amazing. I mean, Anakin, uh, like adding Anakin, Anakin and Padme. Anakin, and would Padme. Also be adding, adding, adding actually Leia and Padme would be solid. Uh, Leia, her text wouldn't do anything, but mm -hmm. at least you'd get the Skywalker, so you'd get the Destiny to attrition. Yeah. Um, yeah, because Curry is not a leader, right? No. 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 Yeah. Oh, we talked about that in the Slack chat. I was like, "Oh no, the way that Gur the way that you can cancel Gary's Texas has to play promotion on her, and then you can lay at her." But <laughs> <laughs> that seems just so convoluted. Okay, so there's oh, the pad. Oh, that's, that's exactly Padman what he's Lane. doing. Is playing there you go. Um, Looks like our other matchup is finished. By the way. Oh wow, that was fast. Uh, uh, yeah, JJD Matt wins conceded. game number two, so Matt concedes the match. Looks like Jared will be in the finals. Winning the Jawa Cup and then into the MPC. Oh, yeah, you can't. So if you target, you can't put Anakin's lightsaber on somebody. You can't put him on space. That's a, that's a GIMP bug that needs fixed. Well, Saitor says matching I know, character present at a site. That's yeah, that exactly should work. The tech, yeah, no, the text says present at a site, so yeah, you shouldn't actually be able to play the Anakin Saber on somebody in space. Yeah. Sorry, we're in the middle of having a bed delivered, so. Oh. Getting yourself a new bed? Yeah. Using that stimulus money, putting it to good use. Maybe, I, uh, well, I haven't gotten my stimulus money, but uh, B. Fred is selling me some Star Wars cards. He's my dealer. <laughs> getting to myself a box of special edition. We haven't happened to see a big fat cat out there, did you? Okay, there's another one that's loose. <laughs> I'm having to save up for any next uh, Star Wars card purchase because at this point, uh, at this point, the, the stuff that I would need is like th is like four Senator Palpatines and four Fox Riders or something like that. Like, pretty much got the other stuff that I need. Yeah, that's one of the things I like about playing an out of print card game is once you have the stuff, you don't need to buy a box of the new set. 
I don't know. I so I've got my completes. I got my sets of everything. I need. I mm-hmm. I don't need like anything big outside of like maybe some more emperors. But now I'm trying to get all the weird stuff. So mm-hmm. cool. I, That's I'm, the core. Okay. I want to yeah. say I'm like 32 cards away from getting all the Japanese cards. So this is kind of an interesting play. It would suggest, yeah, it's like it's gonna su- it suggest to me there's no battle happening. Because if there was, I would think Cornhorn should have gone like Lando should have moved to pat to passenger. Cornhorn should have piloted, and then you fight forfeit Lando, shuttle down Corin, and do the great cover. Mm-hmm. No, because then he has the option to move you three PO away. Oh, uh, okay, sure, sure. You shuttle I mean, Corin, and he moves away, blocks I mean, blocks an, an empty site. I mean, if he moves you three PO away, that's fine, right? Because it then he's not blocking. Still... He's not blocking your drain of three then, so that's that's you're still accomplishing your goal. You're still accomplishing that for the one turn, but it does keep you from sprawling on the other course on site. So. Mm, okay, yep, fair enough, fair enough. But in reality, I mean, does he really need to sprawl? Yeah. I mean, uh, if you're Kyle, yes, because uh, I mean, you need Kyle, to do damage a lot yeah. faster. He lost by nineteen, so yeah, you're Kyle, be doing still damage. Needs, Kyle still needs to win by twenty, and he's only up by one at the moment. Right. So. Yeah, if Hayes can get a second battleground and then start draining in the Jedi Council Chamber, Kyle's got two or three turns before he hits that critical mass point. Yeah. So well, and the, the the Imperial Decree uh, can do a couple of things here to help Hayes out with that because he can just put kind of anybody he wants at one of these battleground sites if he has like a gick and. Mm-hmm. Just accept, accept that it'll have to pop his decree to draw destiny. Huh. So Cad Bane's coming down against Luke. That would certainly suggest some other stuff. Boba Fett, Bounty Hunter, IG-88, maybe? Can I IG-88 capture you, 3PO? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my droid. Give it back. <laughs> or you play P-59, shoot the U-3PO. That's true. Make it make the U3PO a trap on all. So you 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 gave it to them so that you can then shoot it with P59 and do two damage. Well, and then you, if you draw low enough, well, you don't cancel Luke's test. You you draw under the high enough just to get rid of the corn horn. Then you redeploy redeploy another U3PO. Yeah, he can retrieve it with the uh, the sewers, but. Then it's back in the stack and he has oh, to the, dig for the, it. Oh, the, the, the corn horn. Sorry. Yeah. Like you're talking about you could retrieve the U3 field with the sewers. I'm like, I don't know how, but... Magic. It's a new effect. You choose two droids Sheet and they become brilliant. <laughs> yeah, other than a uh, restraining bolt collar. He's not yeah. uh, stealing that <laughs> droid back. Okay, Dengar is a pretty solid one here. Uh, Dengar has a good chance to... Oh, an Sing 2. Okay. All right, now lot. we got some people with some weapons. Uh, yeah, Dengar, like he said, obviously he's going to hit you 3PO, make him forfeit zero. Could hit right. Corrin Horn as well. Yeah, it's a good chance to hit yeah. Corrin Horn, I think. I guess now, the big uh, problem is that uh, he's not going to have enough force to do he all has to get, of it. But the thing is, he's only going to be able to shoot twice. Yeah. He has to, yeah. So, yeah, I think you shoot at the U3PO and you shoot Arasing at Luke. Um, I think depending on your destinies, you might actually just shoot U3PO Tax yeah. and like value attrition. Um, well, no, I think Orsing is more likely to hit Luke than uh, than Dengar is to hit Cornhorn. Yeah, yeah, it kind of, kind yeah. of depends on what. I mean, obviously Hayes just verified, so he knows what yeah. he's got and he's doing the math here. But yeah, maybe there'll be another sorry about the mess, and none of this will matter. That is exactly the thought I was thinking. <laughs> uh... Well, there's still one in the Lost Pile, right? Uh, no, the one in the Lost Pile got played by Solo. Yeah. And he canceled that too? Okay. Uh, that, one got, and that, that one got sense. Yep, yeah. there's a sorry about the mess. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Imbalance combo. <laughs> oh, God, that would be... I mean, Blaster Proficiency counters are quite good in the meta right now. So... Mm-hmm. If Dengar goes lost, which looks like he will, 
Oh, he's debating something. We're on Hayes's clock he's, here, right? Might be considering grabbing it. Although at this point, I think it's too late. I, th yeah, I think. Right. Sorry about the mess. Has done his damage now. He's not probably going to get to play it again. Right. He's, this is the third time yeah. he's used it. I don't think uh, fourth is going to make much of a difference. So the interesting thing is we're definitely going to see AOBS versus I. Uh, it's going to be Throne Room versus ISB. Okay. Yeah. And, and it is the. Um... I forget what JJD played for. No idea. Nice so, on no idea and uh, ISB Throne Room. Yeah. For the finals. Demigar is going to go bye bye. I guess the throne room is interesting because it depends a lot on the it depends a lot on the build of throne room. Like if they have clash to beat the field promotion, that that could be pretty bad potentially. No, if Jared was playing oh. field promotion, wow. Okay, so oh, that's right. It was the other way around, right? Blaster deflection to cancel the R thing. Yep that that means this battle is not going to go any of the ways that. Mm -mm. Not at all. And the worst part is, is he can't even move away after it. Nope. Draws a three, so that's going to get rid of the U3PO. U3PO has enough to cancel. Yep. And two, so... You lose to Cad Bane? Or no, you lose to Aura Singh. Because Cad no, Bane can... You have, you have to lose the Cad Bane. Because Cad Bane can only cancel boys with another bounty hunter. Well, so at well. least at least Aura Singh has the chance to... Or no, he won't be able to shoot Luke because he has no force can't, left. Yeah. Can't shoot. This is kind of a disaster. Kind of screwed around. either way. Right, so. yeah. yeah, and if Kyle yeah, has a uh, first strike or uh, draw their fire in his hand... Oof. Yeah, that one definitely didn't go well for, for Hayes. You know, when, when you initiate a battle... And nothing you do and it works, and you're like, great! I just lost some extra cards and possibly some overflow and things. Oh, that's uh, right. He can still move away. Oh, the oh, one because, site just yes, for free. He can move for free. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I thought they were at that site. You're right. It's this one Sa to the saving left. Saving grace. Saving grace. I Which will also wonder, keep my two battle rounds. I kind of wonder. He loses given... the corn. Okay, so yeah, I mean that's that makes sense. He loses the corn horn because he can then oh, retrieve he the can corn retrieve horn. It, yeah. I was gonna say, I kind of wonder if, given the sequence of things that happened, I guess Hayes probably must have been in the middle of December. Because if he was going to try to shoot Luke anyway with Aura saying, I kind of feel like he was supposed to do that first, rather than use Cad Bane first. Mm -hmm. I guess that wouldn't have mattered, though, because then you still shoot Dengar second. So, right, yeah. I'm trying to think if there was some better way to orient all of that so he would Dengar have gotten to use first. Yeah, if Dengar shoots first. Dead yeah. Bear shoots first, and then yeah. no matter which guy he hits, the other one still has a weapon. Yeah. And you still have an extra bounty hunter to cancel yeah. the game text yeah. there. I think that's the right way to orient all that. Yeah, I think that's I think that ends up panning up better. But again, it's a lot easier to see from back here in the cheap seats. Right. There's the other U3 PO that W three PO, no program trap. Oof. I mean, program trap would get him here. He's been shield busted. Turn two. Yeah. So. And how many times has he drawn a two? Right. <laughs> so, yeah, Kyle may need to consider. You know, obviously, what uh, he's got four cards in hand. What he can do to kill or a sing to get him off the second battleground to get simple mm -hmm. tricks back into play. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, his options start to get kind of limited because he can't draw too many more cards. Otherwise, Hayes then can just suicide himself. Yeah, well, um, Obi Wan's a good way. That'll that'll do. <laughs> and they're both going <laughs> to take a mid-game bathroom break. Neither right. of them are neither of them are committed enough to, to play on their phone while they're in the bathroom. Okay, so we know that JJD is going to be in the finals. Uh, if it's Hayes, who do you like? Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Uh, they don't get to switch decks again, right? It has to be the same build. Has to be the same decks. Well, I think I, I think I actually, I think I like Hayes because I think I like his, I think I like his, uh, his builds a little bit better. Um, yeah, I, I think the, I, I think gonna... the, I think the, the Thrawn quietly observing build of agents is better than the kind of more traditional one that Kyle mm -hmm. was running against no idea. Um, like the Thrawn in particular, the Thrawn makes a big difference. Um, yeah. And then he can clearly start Decree instead of Crush if he wants to do that. There's a couple of options here. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's close enough since the since the I mean the, the deck archetypes are the same. Mm -hmm. that I, I don't know that that makes too, too much difference. Uh, and then... Um, Ooh, I mean, I think I, I think in my bracket I had Hayes winning. We, yeah, I know. Be, I, I had Hayes but, winning, uh, so. Um, but I, but you know, I also didn't have two sixes playing in the other side of the of the final of the court semifinals. I don't think so. anybody did. <laughs> it, it's I haven't after the first that first day. I just haven't paid attention to my bracket. But <laughs> looks like both of them are back. Oh, okay. Oh. This is interesting. Okay. Zoinks. Oh, no. So, I mean, he's going to lose a force because Hayes initiated a Thrawn there, but that Ooh. run, Luke, run. Oh, no. Or, no, Kyle initiated this battle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kyle yeah. initiated the battle. And now Arsene can't draw. So will be able to get rid of that Obi-Wan, but... Arsen can't shoot. Yeah. Oh no! Hayes and she's hit. hit. Yeah, she's hit. She's obliterated. Get off my planet! I mean, Obi was going to be good enough to get the job done anyway. Luke is obviously just a little uh, overkill. Icing, yeah, icing on the cake but, here. But this way, you this way you force the gig. Mm -hmm. This is just either he knows what's coming up or he's just getting to peek at more cards. Yeah, just want to see him, get him in order. Well, that, that's a good order. Five, six, five, seven. All right. <laughs> Everybody's like, okay, let's see. Do we have a gig here? Because he's, he's already not... uh, down nine. Yeah. Okay, so he's down six, by six, fourteen. Five, six, five seven six, right? Or six five seven five, that's the order. Yeah, that's some pretty good destiny. Down by four down by fourteen at this point. Okay, okay, all right, that's... okay. Down by eight. Uh, yeah, he's still gonna need the gick, but if yeah. he doesn't yeah. have it, at least it's not like game over. Yeah. Okay. Whew. And there's a collective sigh of relief for everybody who's rooting for Hayes. <laughs> Play will continue. <laughs> Just shuttle up you three go for four fifth honor now. It's <laughs> not a bad idea. Okay. Kyle's going to initiate here. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Kyle, the yeah. same I mean it ends up being the same trouble that we were talking about before stayed exactly the same since the last turn it's just a ton of a ton of forfeit fodder and all the cards on dark side are important so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, watch yeah, kyle yeah. and watch kyle only draw like twos and ones here for destiny after he draws all those five sixes and sevens well, he's been 3 on a lot so that's true just things out by much by turn seven here Well, yeah, that's uh, oh, okay. Okay, Jedi love, My and that actually can solve the problem of uh, the emperor. Yeah, yeah. Draws a five. Okay, so now we're back I'm to sure. the five show. I'm sure there's still a force lightning around. Yeah. Hmm. 
the dark side here, just trying to get higher than like seven to make sure yeah. that uh, two people get lost. Okay, so that's that nine. So that's gonna be seven. That's gonna be two people. So probably yeah. what, Lando and Padme, or Lando uh, and Ray. Yeah, you're not gonna lose. You don't wanna lose Padme in this situation. No. Okay, so you gotta keep Leia then. Oh, and that's exactly enough attrition. We're gonna have to kill two things on dark side. And yeah. it's gonna be. It's gonna be Thrawn and Forlom, I think. There. Yeah, that seems like what it has to be. And Hayes may have options to retrieve both of them, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. Yeah. Uh, I think you go solo Ray here if you're looking at who you've got available. Oh, then you don't have enough ability piloting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you want to lose the Ray. No, Although you got to go solo. You got to go solo. Wow. I mean, he still get the Destiny to Attrition, though. He does have the Destiny to Attrition, and I guess he's anticipating he will be able to retrieve with Lando if that'll happen. Yeah. So maybe that's what he's thinking about here. But in the plus side, he's taking some damage, and his opponent isn't losing much. Now it's almost like if you're Haze, do you lose the Space Cruiser here, knowing you're going to get two Battle Destiny? Wow, he loses Gary. Okay. I mean, Liguri is necessarily right now. Yeah, yeah. So Liguri doesn't matter here because opponent's destiny is going to be zero anyway. So. Well, I mean, if he has the Afra in hand, or he, he can actually use his uh, Imperial City to pull the Afra to get the Guri back. I mean, if he battles on the next turn here, his opponent's battle is going to be zero, and he's going to yeah. Uh, funny thing from Jerry in the uh, chat. Apparently, uh, JJD hit him up on the 27th, March 27th, to say that he was thinking about dropping out of the NPC to do commentary. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was Chris Kelly's turn last year to make the finals, and uh, now it'll be his playtest buddy Jared's turn this year. So if Jared wins, does this mean that Jared is better than uh, Chris Kelly? Because Jared won the game PC. In online not, tournaments. Uh, oh. An online tournaments, so he won the uh, what? Not the uh, not the Gem PC. He won the Jawa yeah. Cup. So the yeah, Jawa Cup, yeah. So but he won that Gem PC thing. Yeah, I so, mean, who who won I that? Mean, somebody else. Yes. I mean, by definition, uh, if Jared wins this, he'll be he'll be number one seed next year. And Chris, <laughs> oh, make Chris Move Kelly all the way up from a six. Make Miss yeah. Krill, uh, Chris Kelly the number what two seed in his bracket. <laughs> or no, you make, just, or you make Chris Kelly. Know. I was gonna say, or you make Chris Kelly the number six seed. <laughs> to mirror it, yeah. Um, why not? I just want to. I just want to not be an eight or nine next year. I want to not play a number one in round two. That okay, we'll make you. A, how about this? How about this? We make you, you, no, <laughs> we make you a ten seed. That's fine. And then you have to play Justin Desai because he moves down to a two seed. Well, then I'd have to be a 15. <laughs> well, no, no. I'm saying you have to play Justin Desai in the, in the second round like you did this year. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Cycle me around. I played Joe last year. played Justin this year. I'll play like Hayes. Well, I mean, you took out Joe Olsen from the Endor Grand Prix, so, I mean, do you really feel, fear Joe Olsen at this point? I mean, I was fair a number one seed, man. Like, I, like, I admittedly don't have a lot of history, a lot of history with the game to know all the names and, and all that, but uh, when people are talking about, oh, which, you know, which of the six potential number ones do you drop out of the number one seed, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, well, like, maybe, maybe it's Joe. I'm like, Joe's the reigning player of the year. Are you really? Like... <laughs> Okay, but what has Joe won? What has Joe won for me lately? I mean, if you want, you want to talk about lately, Joe was in the top four of like every major last year. I think he was in the finals of half of them. Like, well, I was going to say he wasn't in the MPC, he didn't he wasn't in the finals for the NPC because he didn't show up. Uh, he was in Continentals. He was in Worlds. Oh, well, he was at the NPC last year. He wasn't in the finals, but was he at the NPC? 
He beat NPC me in the NPC last year. Uh, <laughs> I was just hey, hey, this. okay. <laughs> I don't remember. I was. We got a Boba Fett. That's four battle destiny against light sides zero. Yup. He is still with a bounty hunter. <laughs> this could be devastating for that tentative. Yeah. That one destiny to attrition is not not going to be getting there. Oh, oh, Hayes just needs to throw anybody down who forfeits for five. Just the way Kyle's drawn, it's going to be a five. Yep. Well, I mean, there's the sixes and the sevens in there. Yeah, but they're buried low enough that he's not going to... Well, gonna the one thing them. is, I mean, Kyle's going to be able to retrieve with uh, Lando. Uh, yes, that's true. He'll retrieve so that ray. He'll get, he'll get the, the ray back. Mm -hmm. Which you could then possibly activate to the following turn. Yeah, I mean, I, so I guess the, the other side of this whole thing is that there's uh, 20, or no, there's 19 forfeit fodder on the Tanev right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, Darkseid is still in a position where they're going to lose something. They're going to lose Boba so, Fett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're going to lose Boba Fett. Uh, Kyle's just going to shuffle everything around now, so who knows yeah, what he's going to draw. If Kyle yeah. loses to Tantiv. Well, that's the thing is with yeah. nineteen forfeit, there's a reasonable chance he won't lose the he won't lose the tenth. Yeah, there's yeah, the, you, I you mean, might fives and sixes, but yeah, it does seem yeah. unlikely nineteen that he gets all the way there. Well, I mean, he's got to draw like, one character that's not an emperor. And we know that we know that the six was buried. Although, did he uh, shuffle on this turn? He no. Oh no, he did. He did. Because tech uh, Corellian slip comes out and just okay, so that's a four. He needs a six and two fives. There's, There's six. the six that was on the bottom. He's got to get the twenty. That, okay, so that's not going to do it. I mean, that's twelve right there. So eighteen. Ooh, eighteen. That's so close. close. <laughs> but you know what? That's that's thirty power to five. That's also true. Mm. He's got nineteen in forfeit, but he's down twenty five in power. So he's yeah, to make up a handful of extra cards, which would put him possibly below that twenty that he needs to win by. Yeah, having to eat six here uh, or five here. No, six here because he's covering nineteen. Well, I mean, he yeah. gets to take that back. And, he gets to take that yeah, back in his hand, and that's the this is the attrition. To keep the I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if you. Well, I guess he did. Okay, so, so, so yep, there's the Boba Fett that goes away. And so, so, I don't even know if it was necessarily correct to take the Luke in the hand there. It might be better just lose. No, you take the yeah. well. Well, because it keeps a it keeps a card it keeps a card in life force. Uh, yeah, you're you're. It, the forfeit, the the attrition doesn't matter because he's going to lose both that no matter what anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does thin out the deck though for for future turns. Yeah, again, keeping all those fives and sixes together. And I mean, he could also just put the Luke back with three PO. Yeah, I mean, the I guess the other side of this is he now knows that the uh, or no, the five force that he is in. Oh, of course he had Kyle before. just realizes that he didn't have any ability. Um, oh, totally no. Yeah. oh no. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no. There is the Kyle Kruger blow up moment. Yeah, because because otherwise I otherwise I'd agree that solo race seemed like a reasonable a reasonable couple to lose, but uh, yeah. Yep. Hmm. Can he come back from this now? Because it's 20 in life force for both of them. So he could lose six from hand, but then I don't know how he's going to 
come back right. after that. What else do you still have left at that point to put back on the tandem for yeah. the following turn? He'd have to have like exactly one pilot. Like exactly an Anakin, right, would be ideal. Yeah, I mean he can yeah you he can still retrieve and then three PO to get like solo back into hand. Uh, yeah, but, well no, solo doesn't do it though. Right. Then and then have a second pilot in hand. Sure, sure. But even still, I mean all you're really doing then is just stalling and buying time. Yeah. You're almost better just you gotta just ditch the whole ship at this point. And and then just pay, yeah. and just start yeah. paying yeah. three to drain. Pay to drain. Well, I mean it, it's now here's my next question. So does Forlom count as a Forlom does count as a black sun agent, so it would be a battleground. Time. So yeah. it is it's only a drain of one up there. Yeah. Versus a drain right. of three on the ground. So that's one a... small victory for Kyle, but just spacing out on that, that it's just that just hurts. Yeah. It really just well, hurts. Because the other thing is that Hayes just doesn't have to do that much damage. Nope. No. Because Kyle only has a buffer of nine mm -hmm. at this point. I mean, like even counting the walkling, like you were you were saying that he's gonna I mean, heal. Kyle's yeah. not gonna have to drain though. I mean, he's not gonna have to pay to drain. Battle order's not out. Battle plan's not out. So I don't know why you're losing cards to keep this tandem there. No, that's true. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, um, has yeah. Hayes? Uh, Hayes played, is not feet? Hayes is not busted because he did play a cold. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, is he? Did he? I, he I, he did play a cold. Feet. <laughs> um, he has since lost the cold feet to drains, but okay. Mm -hmm. But still having one shield left, obviously, yes. You pull it, you slow the, the okay. game down. Yeah, that's true. Kyle's gonna peel six cards here. Ditching yeah, four just, from hand. I still don't just see why you've. I mean, I agree yeah, with he's... losing like the four that he lost from his hand, but still. Yeah, that's. And, I mean, he's sitting that's at night. He's sitting at nineteen cards left in his life force. Yep. I'll put Walkling out of play. Hmm. Curious. He must have two characters in hand then. Yeah. Because I would or... have thought he would use the sewers to retrieve either. Corn or solo, so at least he'd have one pilot for the Tanif, and hopefully True. have a second pilot in hand. I, I mean, mean, he could have he a has also, He has also uh, put a six below ten cards where he knows where it is. So if he has two pilots to deploy for that, I guess that could mm -hmm. could do something. I mean, he always could just have a Hojix in hand, want to block that drain because. Mm. I mean, the Emperor's not doing anything over at JCC right now. Mm -hmm. And that could obviously be a thing, too, where he's just going to just satisfy his two battlegrounds for one or two more turns. Yeah. Let his opponent clear his Tanev on turn two. But uh, I don't peel six cards to keep a Tanev just so I can block a drain of one for... Yeah, there's got to be some reason for him to do that. Yeah. And now that Hayes has a 10-card hand, and he's saving two, I mean, that's... Showing Greedo or Barrier, yeah. Uh, two's not on the barrier's barrier ground. Yeah. He would need three, yeah. He would need three. There's no wipe. Yep. Did he retrieve the bounty? No, no, the bounty, no. Did he retrieved Marrow when the bounty was lost. Yeah, yeah. So he activated down past mm -hmm. the card that he drew. I think it's a five off the three together. I think it's pure me, baby. I'm pretty sure it's what he drew there. And Luke is at the wrong site where he's only draining for two. Yeah. Oh, because he moved with the with run the front. I'm like, why did he move over there? Then yeah.
Yeah, that uh, that pilot misplay is going to be moving moving large here. Mm -hmm. Just wondering what. I just want to know what Kyle has in his hand. Oh, never mind. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we know our finals. All right. Then. So are we going to play? Are we going to be uh, taking any sort of like a, a break or anything? Do we know? Uh, um, the finals are scheduled to start at five thirty, so they'd have yeah. two and a half hours. Now, granted, both games finished earlier than expected, so mm -hmm. I don't know if the the players will talk about moving it up a little bit to just get it done. Long. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay. We will have Hayes Hunter and Jared Konsker in the finals. A one versus six. And we take a look. The final will be on this stream channel, so we will get to stay tuned. Uh, Chris, if you want to... No, I'm going to hop out. I know uh, Silverland wants to get in. Well, I was going to say, if you want to see what's going on with the... Uh... Yeah, I'll message, put a message in the, uh, the private channel I have for the finalists. And we'll try and get uh, see if they're gonna. It's kind of a wild end to that one. I wonder how differently that can go if he saves the pilots differently. Because Hayes doesn't really have a lot of other options, right? He kind of just has to play the Boba Fett. Yeah. And I guess he could have forfeited the Forlom instead of the Guri. I don't know, but uh, why yeah. don't we do this? Why don't we go on a break? So that way we can set up for the next stream and everything. So... We'll be back once we know what's going on, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll let everybody know via GIMP, Slack, forums, Facebook, yada, 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 uh, when we're coming back. Uh, again, it's not scheduled to be 5.30 Eastern. However, both players might want to start jump in here soon. They're talking about it right now, so. Okay. So I'm going to shut down the Discord for right now. Uh, that way we can get... Uh, it's going to be myself. I want to say uh, it's going to be myself, Justin Branch, and Joe Olson on the uh, three-person finals. So we will be right back. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'll let everybody know. Okay, everyone. So we just have an update. The, uh, the players will be playing at 5 o'clock. So we have a nice little two-hour break. So come back at 5 o'clock. Looks like Jared uh, has some family time s scheduled. Uh, and, uh, yeah, our players will be uh, playing at 5 o'clock. So stay tuned to the PC, uh, and we will let you guys know. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.